Okay, good evening, Bounce Back Network, Not Pop and Teeth Cert. Uh, this is Sam Hakoba on behalf of our uh, colleagues at Bounce Back and uh, Not Pop and Teeth Cert. Welcome to the 14th episode of Privacy Fridays Back to Back with Fight Back Cybersecurity. With me today, of course, Attorney Kiko Acero. Magandang gabi po, sir. Namiss ka Hello. namin last night. <laughs> yes. Kumusta yung Friday? Manda. Oh. <laughs> okay lang. Uh, medyo nag-wind down na, tapos ito na. Hmm. Time for Privacy so, Fridays and Fight Back Cybersecurity. Papapasok na ng Q3, ano, Attorney Kicks, di ba? Papasok na ng Q4, no? So, yeah. Ito na. Bigis na po. Oo. Oh. Naka-jacket na ngayon, mag-inaw na eh. <laughs> oh, hindi, ano, um, mga bagong budo ito sa Lazada. So. <laughs> yun pala. Ano ba yan? 9-9 ba yan o 9-15? Ng... Oh, 9-9, 9-9. 9-9 yan. <laughs> Pakilala mo naman ang ating, ano, sige, the godfather of ano, cyber security. Yan, <laughs> yan. <laughs> the original, the godfather of Philippine cyber security. The, the real authority when it comes to, ano, ano, uh, protecting Philippine uh, digital space. The one, the only, Rito Averia. Yan. Hello, magandang gabi, Sam. Magandang gabi, Attorney Kicks. Oh, Kamusta na ba? Anong happening natin? Magandang gabi It, sa ating mga ma- sumusubaybay. <laughs> ng ating, ito, ano, dito pakidagdag uh, daw sa title mo, di ba? May, may mga post, di ba? For example, PhD. Dagdag daw yung OG, capital O sa G. <laughs> ano, anong OG? Yeah, ano, original gangster. Ano yun? Saan ang yung OG? Okay? So, original gangster yan. Yan. Yan yung ano doon. Hindi mo yun doon. <laughs> Hindi naman, original gangster. Nauna lang ako sa inyo. <laughs> Ito naman, di ba? 1990s ka lang, ano eh, lumabot ako, di ba? Hindi, ganun, di ba? Balik ka rin natin na yun. Alam mo, meron na naman tayo na artist. Max, Max earlier, I was a hacker in the 80s. <laughs> Ayan. Pero ito, positive hacker, di ba? Kinuwento mo ngayon, one of our episodes oh. na. Yung hacking, uh, it's, it's, it's a positive term, hindi siya negative term. No? Yes. Hacking to solve something. Yung 1970s, deck ah. machine. Uh, <laughs> ayari. Uy, magandang gabi. Oh. Si Maricel. Ito, uh, magandang gabi ulit. So, yan, mayroon pa siyang ano, virtual club para sa'yo. Si, alam mo, si, iniintay ka lang talaga niya, ano, ni Cecil. Uh, <laughs> <ito. laughs> Ipapasok na natin speaker natin. Ah, huh? umamaya na. Ah, huh? hayat hayat mo natin magpalamig sa ano sa backstage, no? Eh, siya din ang magko-control ng ating ano eh. Sound effects. Sa <laughs> ano, <laughs> yung ating sound engineer. So, wala ka off yung ano niya eh. Kailangan siya ipasok sa stream para tumulog, eh, di ba? Eh, yun na nga eh. Oh, dito pakilala mo na yung inaanak mo, yung speaker natin. <laughs> ah, ah, ito, isang matagal na nating kabarkada. Hmm. No? Una, una ko siyang nakasabayan sa uh, serbisyo sa bayan, para sa bayan. Mm-hmm. Nung kami ay naimbitahan sa Supreme Court no, to draft yung rules on electronic evidence. Oh, kailan yan? No? Circa 19 oh. natin yan. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000 na pala. <laughs> matapos may pasa yung e-commerce act, mm-hmm. may inilabas namin yung draft rules 2001. Okay. Yan. Okay. No, so, ganun kahaba na yung aming pagsasama. Matapos uh, niyan, sila din yung original na mga checkpoint, checkpoint na yan, ano, checkpoint uh, solutions. Ba? Ito yung barkada naman nila. Uh, so, maaga din na sabak ito sa larangan ng information security. Um, no? At mahaba ano, ano ang first impression mo? Ma- oh, dito, ano, ano yung first impression mo nung nakita mo itong ano, speaker natin nung sa Supreme Court? Huh? Bugoy! <laughs> <laughs> Kasi baka spike-spike pa yung book yan eh, di ba? Oo. Oh. <laughs> Bugoy ng nerdy nerdy. <laughs> ako, na-meet ko naman to. I-share ko naman sa akin, eh, no? So, sa corporate na, nung sa one of the biggest software company. Sabi niya, in-announce siya. Oh, meron na tayong head of security. Ang unang pumasok sa isip ko. Sabi ko, okay naman si Manong Guard, ah. Papalitan. So, <laughs> yun ang unang yung rosa. Sa Microsoft, siya yung ano, lead for security, the security business. At that time, ano nga yun? Trustworthy computing. 
Nalala ko yung last piece noon. Saka siya yung din nagdala ng defender and other stuff. So, yan. Attorney Kiko, ito na lang sa muunang na-meet tong speaker natin. Sa NPC ba? Sa hearing ba sa NPC? Hindi. Nakihaya ko siya through Pierre. Oo. Our common friend. Yes. Oo. So, so yun. So, kwento-kwento. Eh, marito yung community eh. So, gano'n. Uh, akala ko yun, nagkaswabi. Kaya si Kaibigang Pierre. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Baka nag-resting-looping kayo. Anyway, anyway. Di ba? Doon kayo. Nag-message nga yung ating speaker ngayon. Oh. Hindi daw siya maka-rematal. Saan yan ang bakit? Tama na tayo. Hindi makasagot. Pinawisan na ba? Pinawisan na to? So, oh, buti wala si Arnie no. dito. Ano? Siya, si, wala si Arnie eh. Na isa oh. pa. No. Oh, uh, anyway, <laughs> sige. Without further ado, ito yeah. na ating kaibigan, the uh, information security guru, no? <laughs> si Abet de la Cruz. Abet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hirap magisulat. Tawag ako sa tawag tawag ako sa backstage. Hindi ako makabaw eh. Abet, ano ang happening natin? Oh. Uh, okay naman. So far, katatapos hmm. lang nung uh, IEEESP uh, hmm. Philippine Computer Society event, which is, you know, half of the presentation tonight is uh, from there. And then, hmm. dinagdagang ko rin nung uh, best practice. No? Kasi, request ng partner ko eh. Kailangan daw ng mga student niya. So, kinumpleto ko na. Ayun, yun. So, Chabot naman <laughs> sa mga UST students, ano? Tartuit, Oy, right? Mga oh. usti. Future cybersecurity professionals natin yan. Kaya... Uh, marami po tayong campaign para dumami ang cybersecurity professionals. Pabalita ako po kayo kung paano sa mga software. But uh, yun po, no? lalo na sa mga ano, uh, you know, female. We, we specially encourage everybody. No? Ika nga, uh, equality, yun, uh, inclusiveness. Oh, yeah. uh, kailangan so, natin ng lady practitioners. Correct, correct, okay. correct. Yun, balita uh, ko, Abet, nakasalang ka, pinapa-attend ni Arnie, Arnie yung kanyang mga estudyante. Oo nga eh, oo nga eh. Kaya si, sinigurado kong uh, pasok sa kailangan niya yung presentation. Yan, Buti na lang. So, Simple na uh, no? yung mga manunod ng replay, uh, pwede niyo pong ikas pakishare na rin po ito, no? ang ating event. At the same time po, paparating na po, malapit na matapos yung season 1, ikocompile po namin lahat yan, magkakaroon po tayo ng exams, ano, sa mga episodes natin. Kaya, karahal niyo po mabuti yung mga teachings natin that are in between, actually, uh, in the show, no? So, Abel, without further ado, isalang ka na namin, ha? Di, so, di mo man lang ako pinabati ng good evening ha, matapos na mga <laughs> laglagan. <laughs> na, nalaman, nalaman tuloy yung mga edad natin. At natawa ko sa mga terms ni uh, Ninong Tolites. Eh. Ano happening mo? <laughs> Bugoy! <laughs> Shows the age. Wala tayong magagawa dyan. Di ba? Mamaya na natin kwentuhan yung... Si Lito, di ba? Tingnan mo na may itsura, Abel. Parang Espanyol, no? Oo. Ito ang patisoy na dito. Ano, no? Noong patisoy na yan, ni Tommy Abuel nga tawag namin sa kanya. Wala ka pa sa General Luna? Hindi ka pa kasama dun sa film mo. Wow. <laughs> oh, sabi, <laughs> yung mga unang pinahiring squad na doon siya <laughs> tapos, tapos na kagad <laughs> sabi na nga ba no? pero pero abit sa soro yan tingnan mo yung kanyang ano look at the hair yeah. Ay, de. Et, eto masasabi ko eto uh, sam sam mm. kilay is life yeah. oh. di ba kilay ni sir para original na original yan walang walang ginagawa dyan ganyan na Kakaigit yung kilay ni Tolay. Sige na. Galing. <laughs> Pang ano yan. Pang TikTok ko yan. Okay? Okay. okay. So, there, though, ang episode po natin ngayon, napakaganda. No? So, it's a uh, data protection standards. Uh, again, Abed is going to share with us, you know, uh, what are the standards that are important. Marami po actually. Uh, but I is going to focus on those. At the same time, yung kaiba ng so what is a standard, what's a framework, what's a policy, etc. And then, yung po, please post your questions, you know, as Abed uh, speaks. Nasa background naman po kami ni... Uh, Don Vito, ni Sir Vito, si uh, Tony Vito. Oo, para po sagutin yung mga... Yung project naman ang focus natin ngayon. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Abit Nilo Cruz po, our speaker for tonight to talk about data protection standards. Thank you very much. Abit, your floor. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's another Friday evening and uh, tonight I hope to uh, enlighten you kung ano ba yung difference no, no, what's a framework, standards, policies. Uh, madalas po kasi nating marinig yan. And usually, when you go into information security, uh, dati-rati, palagi na lang nating naririnig, firewalls, intrusion detection system, mga gano'n, no, puro, most of the time, we were focused on on the devices, no, the the technical enforcement, kumbaga. So I just want to want to uh, put emphasis tonight on what we call framework standards and policies. Uh, because yung mga security controls po natin, yung mga electronic devices, mga electronic enforcement, the firewalls, the intrusion detection systems, the active directory, lahat po yan, when you, when you configure, there are, you, you put in rules, di ba? Uh, sa firewall, what are you going to allow? What are you not going to allow? And usually what happens is that, you know, kung sino man yung firewall administrator, sabi, no, eto, payagan mo yan, no, payagan mo to. Uh, boss yan, nagay po. Yun. Bigyan mo siya ng unlimited access or whatever. So without the policies, no, yung magulo yung kahihinatnan nung, nung mga uh, configurations ng mga technical enforcement natin. So we always emphasize that there has to be two parts, no? The, the policy controls and then the technical controls. The policy controls will dictate what uh, what rules or configurations the technical controls should have. Okay. So with that uh, very long introduction, let me go ahead. So tonight's, uh, tonight's presentation is about frameworks, standards, policies, what's the diff? No? We hear it a lot, but you know, sometimes hindi natin alam yung, toto- yung tamang definition and then how to use them. So, InfoSec standards is actually about keeping it all in check, okay? And then now, we, we need to first sync our understanding. Uh, sometimes, no, in, in this field, kasi because there's so many definitions, so many resources, uh, napagahalu-halu natin yung mga ibig sabihin ng terms. So, I just want to sync our understanding no, with regards to what's a policy, what's a procedure, what are standards, and then what are guidelines? So let's go first to policies. Policies are mandatory high-level management directives that do not delve with the details or technicalities like the server security policy that discusses uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, but it will not state whether the server is a Windows or a Linux server. Okay, so high level po siya, and usually it, this comes from management. Wala siyang de- devoid of any technical details. Okay? The next term is a procedure. A procedure is a step-by-step guide for accomplishing a task. Okay, it is low level, specific, and mandatory. For example, you have a procedure on how to have access to social media, to portals, creating users, requesting for access to sensitive information, password reset, etc. Lahat po yan may mga denumero. Ayun, mga denumerong steps para gawin. So it's mandatory because if you don't follow the procedure, chances are there might be a problem dun sa gusto mong accessing the resources or maybe sa device na gusto mong configure So that's what procedures are for. Standards. Standards define the specific use of technology applied to both hardware and software. Ayan. Kung sa policies po, it's devoid of any specifications, sorry, specific technology. Sa standards naman, define na rito kung anong technology yung ginagamit. And it applies both for hardware and software. They are mandatory and they help the organization to implement security controls lower total cost of ownership, and support disaster recovery. Okay. Now, <laughs> we sometimes we struggle with standards. Though. I, I'm going to go to that later. Uh, and the next term is guidelines. Okay. Guidelines are non-mandatory. And usually, 
uh, these are recommendations which are advisory in nature. Ayan. Hindi po siya mandatory. Pero it's an aid. It helps support policies, procedures, and standards by uh, providing suggested actions. Okay? So, hindi siya mandatory. So, no, notice, <laughs> I'm sure maraming may ingin sa, binasa mo lang naman lahat ng presentation. Eh. Sinadya ko po yun. Sinadya kong basahin para pakita sa inyo gano'ng kahaba yung presentation. And at the same time, I want to show you the keywords. Ayan. Okay. So, pag sinabi natin policy, high-level management directives, no details, no technicalities. Okay? Procedures, step-by-step, low-level, and mandatory. Standards, specific use of technology, mandatory, and guidelines, recommendations, advisory, and non-mandatory. Ay po ba? So, yan yung shortcut, no? from the formal definitions and those are the keywords that you those are the only words you need to remember para malaman niyo yung definition ng apat na yun. So there's own, also one more definition that I that I failed to mention. It, this is our this is a term called baseline or baselines. So baselines is the uniform way of implementing a standard. You have a standard and this is the uniform way or the consistent way, the singular way to implement it. So it's discretionary in nature, but it is usually based on widely accepted norms and best practices. Okay. So again, wala po siyang uh, pinafalo na hard set rules, pero this is mainly uh, through experience, proven that it works, kaya nga po best practices ang tawag, and these are the accepted norms. Okay. So as an example ng no, mga terms that we've discussed, no? these are usually part of what we call your security documentation. Okay, and we, if, we, if we summarize all of them, policy, for example, is protect the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of personal data by hardening the operating system. Ayan. Notice that that's an example and there's no specific mention of technology. So the mode is mandatory. Procedure, step one, installed pre-hardened OS image. Step Two, download patches. Step three, ayan. Those are the procedures for hardening an operating system. Okay, so as you can see, it's also generic and it's usually mandatory as well. Standard. So, standard for this example is use Lenovo laptop model XBR, mandatory. Okay, so as you can see, yung standard is a term that means you, you, I mean, besides the fact it's also really, really mandatory, ito yung ini-impose sa iyo, okay? And sometimes this is where we struggle with the definition of standards. And I don't blame you. Ako rin po, medyo matagal-tagal na nag-struggle rin ako dyan, no? Kasi pag sinabi nating standard, usually ang pumapasok sa utak natin, international standards kagad. So, boom! ISO 27001, you know, NIST, mga ganun, ganun. Uh, HIP, uh, HIPAA, or uh, uh, cloud security standards. Uh, those are, yes, definitely standards. No? So, may, may dalawa pong standards. There are standards that you create or impose in your organization, katulad ng example dito. No? Use Lenovo Laptop Model XBR. And there are international standards that prescribes the technology, okay? Uh, prescribes a specific way. And why is that? No? Bakit kailangan natin ng, ng international standard? Well, because, you know, as you can see for the example, different organizations will have different standards. Kung gusto niya Lenovo, eh, ang gusto ko Dell, di ba? So that's totally uh, a, a perfect example, no? Standards pareho siya, pero for two organizations. So for the purpose of baselining a wide audience, let's say buong mundo, uh, how do you tell na yung isang company is actually their, that their standard is really acceptable or, or secured or, or for whatever baseline there is? Hindi po natin malalaman. So that's where the international standards comes in. Para maging uniform yung pagsunod ng mga organizations to particular aspects of uh, technology or best practice, ayun. Kaya po, yun yung dalawang standard, no? Kaya sabihin mo, naku, ba't ko gagawin yung, ano, yung ISO or NIST, meron naman ko standard, okay? So, kanya-kanya po yan. Merong, merong individual corporate standards or organizational standards in which you create 
and you decide kung ano yung standard mo. And there are international standards usually reserved for for consistency and making sure that you're following a accepted baseline or accepted amount uh, of conformance. Okay? So pag nag ISO 27001 po kayo, pag pag napasa niyo pag pag sorry pag nag-comply kayo sa provisions ng ISO 27001 pwede kayo i-certify no kaya magkakaroon kayo ng plaque sa padaro niyo na kalagay certified ISO 27001 at least it, it doesn't guarantee you know fully that you're you're secured or whatever but it does guarantee that the organization does have certain baselines no okay so, okay, now I, I mentioned the term baselines. Use the Microsoft benchmark for patching Windows Server. Okay, so specific ngayon yan. Uh, alam mo na na Windows yung server mo. And Microsoft releases baseline benchmarks, uh, applications or programs, so that you can you can get that minimum level of uh, security. Ayan. So, yan, discretionary. No? Pwede yung sundin, pwede hindi. Uh, but of course, if you don't want to reinvent the wheel, and alam yung ginawa na ng Microsoft to for a long, long time and for a lot of devices, and who is more familiar with the Microsoft server than Microsoft, right? So they do issue baselines, and you can follow this also to make your lives easier. Okay, so I hope with that explanation and the examples, medyo daliwanagan kayo. So I will go to the next slide, which is yeah, it's a very good slide. Okay. So, ito po yung mga international standards na nabanggit ko. No? So, for uh, the U.S. critical infrastructure, but is also now adapted to other organizations kasi it applies very good as well. Uh, NIST, you have your ISO, kilalang kilala natin. Uh, HIPAA for uh, the health, health industry, NERC for the power industry, that's also U.S. There are British standards. Uh, there are the, the SOC standards by the uh, AICPA. Uh, there's the European standards by ENISA. And of course, there's GDPR. There's the web standards from OWAS. Uh, and for banks, uh, sorry, for payment systems or credit card payment systems or PCI DSS. Yeah, my standard in Puyan. If you want to transact using, using credit cards or do online transaction, um, uh, on your e-commerce site, yan. Kailangan po maging compliant kayo sa PCI DSS. There's also the Cloud Security Alliance uh, standards uh, for, for cloud, so for cloud technology. So, sample lang po ng mga standards that uh, uh, we would probably encounter when we go into organizations or into fields, uh, vertical industries, may kanya-kanya rin po siyang standards. So, as you can see, the standards can be depending on your location or jurisdiction, country. But most of the time, it depends kung anong industry kayo uh, napapaloob, right? Okay. So, having that all in mind, hopefully, <laughs> the, the big question is always, where do I start? So, yun naman palagi yung una problema, sana ako magsisimula. So, you can start from scratch. Wala naman pumipigil sa'yo. No? But that means you have to learn all the vulnerabilities, learn all the technologies, best practices, perspectives, uh, roles, risk, identification, protection, detection, responding, recovery, everything about security in general. But yes, you can do it from scratch. No? Or, okay, use a framework. Ayan, dyan po pumapasok yung framework. No? And we'll delve into the details of the framework now. Okay. Yung pong nakikita nyo yung drawing, that is a, a, a mesh of a uh, 3D, uh, organic 3D printout of an ear. Opo, tenga. So, just to, just to illustrate itong ibig sabihin ng, pre, uh, ng framework, no? A basic a framework is a basic structure underlying a system, concept, or text. Uh, it's also like a scaffolding, something to pattern on, or a frame to build upon. Hindi po ito yung uh, totally 3D printed uh, organ, which is the ear, no? uh, biological organ, which is the ear. This is the framework for it or a scaffolding. Diyan nila i-preprint yung organic material para makagawa sila ng ear. So, uh, 
probably you know over the top but you know i just really want to illustrate what do you mean by a framework so it's something to build upon so that you don't have to to build from you know empty space okay so i'm sure you got the idea uh i hope you got the idea so it's a structure that underpins a system or concept and a way of organizing information ayan so balik po tayo sa cyber security what is a cyber security framework a cyber security framework is a system of standards guidelines best practices to manage information security risk by matching security objectives with controls okay hindi lang po sinasabing lagyan mo ng firewall no inaalam din po ng framework kung ano yung objective mo for that particular control so there are two parts so you have to have your objective what you want to protect or what is your goal in protecting this and that versus the controls or or safety safeguards that you want to implement whether it is a policy control or an electronic enforcement or technical control. So uh, there are actually, you can actually divide frameworks into three. You know? uh, one is control framework, second is program frameworks, and the third is risk framework. And these have uh, different purposes. For control frameworks, the purpose of that is to develop a basic strategy for the security team strategy, provide a baseline set of controls, access current technical state, kung ano yung state na present at, at that time it's happening, and then prioritize control implementation. For program frameworks, its purpose is to assess the state of the security program. Okay? Hindi po yung control na to, program to, no? iba yung control. So, ang focus dito talaga do sa program or, or the, the, the steps or projects that you, you need to do to reach your goal or whichever your uh, objective for, for the security. So assess a state of security program, build comprehensive security programs, measure the program security competitive analysis. Hindi lang po gawa na gawa. We need, we need to find a way to measure it as well. Measurement is important. And then simplify communication between the security team and the business leaders. Okay, So the program framework will create that communication link because we all know that the technical is really very seldom able to communicate what they want to to the business people or the business leaders. So, so the program framework will suppose or is supposed to take care of that and is uh, done or implemented to take care of that. And lastly, we have risk frameworks. So risk frameworks focuses on risk, okay? So the purpose of risk frameworks is to define the key processes steps to assess or manage a risk. Okay, ano yung mga step na kailangan mo para malaman mo ano yung mga existing na risk. And then, of course, kung nalaman mo na, paano mo ma-manage. Uh, structure program for risk management. Okay, paano mo i-structure your program to manage all those risks that you've discovered. Identify, measure, and quantify the risk. Okay, it's not enough na malaman mo kung ano yung risk. You should be able to measure it and you should be able to quantify it. Uh, oftentimes, you will make levels of risk. no? Uh, low, medium, high, depending on the risk assessment that you use. It can be quantitative risk analysis, qualitative risk analysis. So yun po yung purpose. Dun. And then lastly, prioritize security activities. Okay? So that is a security framework. Saan po tayo makakuha ng security framework? Wala na po tayo hahanapin iba. Ang pinaka-complete na security framework is housed by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. And this is called the Cyber Security Framework or we call it the CSF for short. Now, initially, itong framework na to was designed to improve the critical infrastructure of the uh, United States. Okay, when, what, what do we mean when you say critical infrastructure? Yung pong mga pagbumagsak, eh, makaka-apekto na malaki sa mga tao. Kuryente, tubig, uh, banko, yan. So, those are the industries or critical infrastructure, nga, the term, because it's critical. Because it will have adverse effects on the lives of people kung babagsak siya or madidisrupt siya. So, I, you know, I will not go into the details of uh, NIST because it's that's a really very long lecture in itself. Uh, but I just want to specify your key functions. Uh, the key functions of the NIST CSF is to identify, protect, detect, respond, recover. 
Okay? You know, wh what I love about the NIST is that unlike the other standards uh, which you have to pay to get the standard, all NIST materials are free. Yes, po, you heard me right. It's free. So if you want to start off doing your uh, policy standards, you know, frameworks, procedures, nako po. NIST has a complete library, even training materials from, from all topics uh, of cybersecurity and even data privacy. No? Pati nga po yung, uh, uh, how do you call this? Recommendations and frameworks for uh, cloud. Meron din siya. So all, almost anything uh, IT, which of course needs security, is in the NIST cybersecurity framework or the NIST uh, portal. So I, I I highly encourage you to to go there, use it. Uh, it's a lot of reading. <laughs> That's the only thing. It's a lot of reading, but it's really really very complete. It's so complete that if you look at the other standards, the ISOs or whatever, lahat po sila they map back to NIST uh, framework. Okay, one one NIST standard or another or the NIST CSF. That is how complete it is. Okay, so again, if you don't want to build from scratch, you know, NAST is your friend. Um, the, <laughs> this is a question that we usually ask. So, what is your approach to cybersecurity? Um, or what is your approach to information security? The first approach and the, the worst approach of them all is an afterthought. Nabu ibig sabi na afterthought. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo siya iniisip. No? Inisip mo lang siya sa huli na. So, normally, security as an afterthought is reactive security. So, security is not considered, uh, it's not a consideration of IT and business initiatives and it's usually the 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 thing that happens that you you recall, ay, kailangan ko mag cyber security kasi may nangyari na. So, after the fact. So, it's the worst kind of security, cyber security approach. Second is the compliance-based security approach. Okay, what is the compliance-based security approach? This is security initiatives that targets legal and regulatory requirements. And it is the most widespread approach to security controls in the Philippines, I have to say. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Kailangan mo mag, mag cyber security or mag information security because persado ka. Because kailangan mo, because batas, because it's part of a standard, because it's part of your certification or audit. So that means, well, choice. Kailangan kong gawin eh. So I have to think of cybersecurity. You know, which is in a, ba in a, in a good way, you know, although it's forcing you to do cybersecurity, in a good way, at least there's going to be cybersecurity or information security. Uh, otherwise, it will always be an afterthought. Right? So compliance-based security is what usually is prevalent today. But, you know, in the ideal world, in the ideal scenario, sana, no, whether there's a law or a standard that you want to follow or there's compliance that you have to do, the approach should always be effective security controls and best practices. Ano pong effective security controls and best practices? These are controls, policy or technical-wise, that is based on actual attacks. Meaning, ano ba yung mga attack na nakikita mo ngayon? Ano yung mga probable attacks na mangyayari could happen today or probably could, it's already happening? And these controls are also updated to address the new ones. Okay? So cybersecurity spending is also optimized if you target the highest, the highest risk areas first. Okay? So kaya nga po ang tawag natin dito is... Ay, lumabas yung slide ko. The risk-based approach. Pag sinabi natin risk-based approach, the attacks that's going to give you the biggest headache and has the biggest probability that will happen, that's the one you should prioritize. Okay? Because it makes perfect sense, di ba? Kung, kung, I'll give you an example later when I, when I go to the, to the, to the best practice, so a particular best practice that we espouse. No? But that's actually what we mean when we say a risk-based approach. You look at the risk, which one will hurt you the most, which one will likely happen, that's the one that you should focus on.
So I'd like to introduce what we call the CIS controls. Uh, it, this is, it, it went through so many names, no? uh, but it, at one point in time, it was popularly known as the SANS-20 control, no? SANS-20 control, but now uh, it's just called the CIS controls. And before 20 siya ngayon, 18 na lang po siya. So the CIS controls, or for, formerly known as the critical security controls, which used to be 20, are a recommended set of 18 actions for cyber defense that provides specific and actionable ways to stop today's most pervasive and dangerous attacks. So this is an effort by a lot of information security organizations, vendors, volunteers. So it's a, it has a wide base of, of followers and contributors. No? So just for the sake of enumerating them, one is inventory and control of enterprise assets. Two is inventory and control of software assets, data protection, secure configuration of enterprise assets, account management, access control management, continuous vulnerability management, audit log management, email and web browser protections, malware defenses, data recovery, network infrastructure management, network monitoring and defense, security awareness and skills training, uh, service provider management if you're outsourcing, application software security, incident response management, and penetration testing. I know it's a choke full to be in your uh, ano si Abet, uh, binigyan na naman ako ng listahan, di ba? So, <laughs> big question is, okay, 18, 18 controls, ano ba dyan ang uunahin ko? Eh, mukhang one, mukhang napakahirap niyan, two, mukhang napakamahal niyan. Believe me, I know, <laughs> I know those concerns and those questions have always been posted for a very long time. So what makes the CIS controls different? Bago po tayo pumunta ron, kikwentohan ko muna kayo kung paano nagkaroon ng CIS controls. It was the year 2008. There was the Department of Defense in the United States or DOD. And there was the National Security Agency, or NSA. So one day in 2008, sabi ni DOD, Uy, NSA, can you do red teaming exercises for our agencies? Ano po yung red teaming exercises? Ito yung penetration testing. And it's if, if it's done by a team, uh, it's called red teams. No? Usually red teams are the offensive teams. Meron din po tayong tinatawag the blue teams, which are the defensive teams. So if the NS, uh, DOD is asking NSA to perform red teaming exercises, that means sila yung blue, sila yung taga protect, and they've asked NSA to be the red or, or the offensive side. Okay? So sabi ng uh, NSA, sure, sure, DOD, why not? Anong target natin? Which ones? Eh, sabi ng Department of Defense, medyo mayabang. Kasi nag-audit na kami at saka ano eh, nag-certify na kami ng compliant na mga ano namin, uh, agencies. Yun ang testing inyo. So syempre confident because they're certified and they're compliant. They are evade, uh, um, how do you call this? They are uh, conforming and uh, subscribing to standards and are certified. Yeah. Okay. So the result? Owned. The NSA were still regularly able to successfully compromise these supposedly well-protected systems. Okay? So, bakit certified, uh, compliant, audited? So, bakit sila, bakit napapasok pa rin sila nung, nung red team? Or in this case, the NSA? And that is the big question. <laughs> so, the reason was, Security resources were being diluted by compliance mandates. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Okay, nag-comply ka nga, eh, syempre maraming requirements yung compliance. Yung resources intended to protect you is spread out. Nakalat, no? Because you, you know, because for the sake of complying, you, you want to comply to all of the provisions of a particular standard, then your security resources is distributed evenly. Okay, nakakaalat siya sa lahat ng kailangan mong gawin because it's mandated by the standard or, or whatever provision that is you need to comply to. So because auditors equally weighted all security requirements, no, we need nila ng pare-pareho, sumunod lang yung security team. So they did the same, syempre. 
And then the NSA knew that not all the risks are equal. So dun, dun sa time na yon, no, uh, the NSA, uh, there was a prevailing uh, uh, mantra. No? It's, uh, that, that, that means that you should not take all risks as equal. Okay? And then because of knowing that, you know, and of course the NSA knows kung ano yung mga bagong attacks, ano yung mga critical attacks which is higher risk. Uh, they were able to penetrate all of those audited and certified compliant agencies of the DOD. So they knew that not all risks are equal, nor should the controls be equally weighted. So that's the lesson. And that's what the CIS control is trying to tell us. Okay, Not all of the uh, provisions for compliance or not all risks are equal. You should be able to prioritize depending on the risk. Again, balik po ako sa sinabi ko kanina. The one that's hurt you, that hurts you most, that'll hurt you most, and the one uh, that is more likely to happen, uh, risk-based security approach. Okay. So, okay, balik tayo do sa sec So, I guess that answers the question if you really need it or why. No? So, balik tayo do sa mahal. Okay. What I love about the CIS controls is that Hindi siya one shot, no? Hindi siya listahan that you have to follow everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, eighteen. Okay? It has what we call implementation groups. IG1, IG2, IG3. IG1 is called the basic cyber hygiene. If there's anything you need to do first, uunahin niyo po yung prescriptions ng IG1, uh, which is the basic cyber hygiene. So yung three implementation groups, IG1, uh, basic cyber hygiene. IG2 would be yung IG2 uh, uh, controls plus IG1 controls. IG3 will be IG3 controls plus IG2 controls plus IG1 controls. Okay? I mean, hindi naman sinagot niya kung mahal eh. Iba kung papano eh. Okay. Dating po tayo dyan. IG1 is for small to medium-sized enterprises. If you have limited IT and cybersecurity expertise, priorities to keep your business operational, the data sensitivity is, you know, around just for employees and financial information. Safeguards can be implemented using small or home office and commercial off-the-shelf hardware and software. So yung mga technical controls yun dito, pwedeng bilhin sa Octagon, pwedeng bilhin sa PC Express, ayan. So talagang pang small to medium-sized enterprises. IG2 is medium enterprises with multiple departments with different risk profiles. Marami siya kailangan risk profiles or iba-iba klase ng risk that they need to protect. So, these types of organizations have sufficient IT and cybersecurity expertise. They may be able to withstand, you know, short service interruptions. And they store or process sensitive client or enterprise information such as personal data. Okay. So, medyo matastas yung requirement nila for security. And lastly, IG3, large enterprises employs IT and security expertise. So yeah, may complete IT team and, you know, information security team ka, may CISO ka, etc. And they must address the, you know, ang walang kamatayang CIA, confidentiality, integrity, and availability of IT assets. Because yung mga assets nila are, are very sensitive, are very important. They cannot afford to have leaks in either their uh, proprietary information or personal data, they just can't afford any any leaks or any breaches at all no? because their business will depend on it. And they are, of course, subject to regulatory compliance and oversight. Yeah. So having shared that, parang ang hirap i-picture, no? kaya syempre may example tayo. Ayan. So, <laughs> I won't go through the entire 18, obviously, so, example key control number one, inventory and control of enterprise assets. Sabihin nyo, napakadali naman dyan, inventory lang. <laughs> Matutuwa po kayo or magugulat kayo sa mga organization na hindi, inventory pa lang, hindi nila, wala silang kompletong inventory. So, going back on how you implement uh, CIS controls. So, dito, dito sa control one, meron siyang five na sub-controls. Ayan, nakalagay, safeguards total, five. Ngayon, kung IG1 ka, basic cyber hygiene, or a small organization, kailangan mong sundin 2 out of 5 lang. 
Kung IG2 ka, 4 out of 5. Kung IG3, 5 over 5 or lahat. Okay? So, may prescription na po siya dyan. So, let's take for example, uh, 1.1. 1. 1. Establish and maintain detailed enterprise asset inventory. Ang ganda po kasi nung, nung listahan niya, eh, no? color-coded pa. Eh. So, ang function niya is to identify yung uh, assets. So, as you can see, yung column ng IG1, IG2, IG3, uh, lahat may dot. So, ibig sabihin, kahit anong level ka, dapat sundin mo yan. Yung 1.2, the same. Kahit anong level ka, dapat sundin mo yan. But your purpose niya is to respond to unauthorized assets. 1.3, wala yung green. As you can see, so walang IG1. Hindi siya mandatory for IG1. 2 and 3 lang. Same for 1.4. And then for 1.5, yung IG3 lang. Okay? Gets po? Gets. So as you can see, dalawa lang yung may green dito. That means 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2 is your basic cybersecurity hygiene. Also for IG1 for small organization. So that takes care of the mahal portion. So you don't really need to control all, uh, all of it. At least have the basic cybersecurity hygiene. Ayan. Saan ko po makikita yan? Dito po. No? Kung meron kayong cellphone, scan nyo na lang po yung QR code. Ba na ngayon? Eh, no? Dati, lalagay ka ng link. Oh, kopyahin natin yung mga link. Ngayon, QR code na lang. Okay? So, dyan nyo po makukuha or makikita yung mga documents for CIS controls. Yes! Libre din po siya. Okay. And yun, that ends my presentation for tonight. Maraming salamat po. I hope marami kayong natutunan. And tomorrow, oh, sorry, Sabado pala bukas. Monday, yun, meron na kayong plano. Boss! Alam ko na kung anong cybersecurity approach natin. After thought. <laughs> Biro lang po. Thank you very much, Sam. Guys. Yan, Abet. Thank you very much. Salam. Maraming salamat. Ano. Teka, wala pa si Rito, si Atty. Kiko nandito na. Hello. Ay, yeah. Alam mo, mas masarap pag present ng live, no? Kasi nakakadalawang taping na ako. Nauutal mm -hmm. ako. Nakakalimutan ko. Oh, baliktad. Abet, meron yung ano, shout out from Sir Roger. Ayan. Okay. Hey! Oh. Pare, pare Roger. Si pare Roger po, yan. Oh, oh. Yan, ang, yan ang unang kasama ko nung masabak ako because we work together for Section 23 of the E-Commerce Act. The first, actually, the first cybercrime provisions. Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, we work with the good senator, Senator Magsaysay. Oh, uh, and, and actually, he was, he was, you know, he sent me a message the other day about... about the, yeah, no? Kulot mo! <laughs> Ganda na hoodie ko. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Roger. Roger. Pakita ka naman. Yes, Roger. Roger. Oh. Parang so, yung natin first impression ni Sir Roger kay, ano, kay Abit. <laughs> Good evening daw. Yan. Good evening daw sa lahat. Ano. Meron din tayong isang, ano, isang, uh, hindi na naman lubos eh, but uh, whoever you are po, magandang gabi daw. Yan, Mr. Fe or Miss Facebook user. Pasensya na, hindi po nalala pa sa StreamYard. And, uh, hindi ko po makita yung, ano, yung page kasi, Kailangan na mag-upgrade ng laptop eh, di ba? So, <laughs> ngayon, ano, ano ba na mas mahal pa ang telepono sa laptop ngayon? <laughs> yes. Diba? Yes. Yung top flight na Mac, yung Apple iPhone 13 mm. na Pro Max is mm. around 108,000. One tera. One tera, wow. di ba? Storage, one, no? one tera out of the box. Oo. Uh, uh -oh. hmm. Anyway, bibili na lang ako ng ultra-wide monitor. Diba? <laughs> oh, 60 lang. <laughs> Di bumili na ng ano, iPad na may SIM. <laughs> pwede, pwede, pwede. Yun na lang, o. Oh. Actually, napakaganda nung preset ni Abed, ano? And yun nga, yung the NIST framework is free, ano? Libre siya, eh. Mm. Inos po natin doon yung link, puntahan nyo po yun, ang dami pong resources doon na pwede nyo magamit. At tas hintay talaga, mapapababa yung cost, no? So, minsan po, wag po kayong maniniwala sa mga vendors. <laughs> <laughs> Galing po kami doon, alam po na Kung kung research lang po, malalaman nyo na yun nga, Minsan talaga, binibenta na sa inyo yung buong stock eh, Hindi nyo man, naman pala kailangan Ina-upsell na kayo, kina-cross-sell pa kayo, etc. So, but yung nga po, sa pag-aaral talaga, malalaman nyo <laughs> Yung tamang paraan para po cost-effective yung inyong investments. Ano. Lalo na po ngayon, uh, alam niyo naman, may pandemia, economy is not that. Ano. Tanong ko lang, uh, 
So dito, uh, tuwa ka ba sa presentation ng inaanak mo? <laughs> Very comprehensive. Matagal na namin binubunuyang ano eh. Mm-hmm. Policies, standards, procedures, guidelines, and rules. Mm-hmm. No? Mm-hmm. Kasi nga, siyempre dyan may, may pagka hindi naintindihan niya, napapaghalo-halo, lalo mm-hmm. magkakagulo. No? Correct. Minsan Correct. yung guidelines lang na sinasabi na Oh, pinaka-guideline mo, yung password mo should be uh, 20 characters in length. Hmm. Hindi naman yun yung standard eh. Correct. Pero nung uh, inalo mo sa standard, magiging standard. Tama. Kaya gawin mong standard. Gawin mong, <laughs> gawin mong standard passphrase. <laughs> Oo, oh, passphrase. <laughs> Yan na napapagkahiligan ko ngayon sa aking mga uh, ano passwords. Actually, passphrase ang ginagamit ko. Mm, hindi po kailangan okay, ng spell characters. Likelihood of being broken. Ipost siya naman yung link kung saan na pwede makuha yun. O, dito sa... Mm. Atty. Kiko. Marami tayong mga tips sa ganyan. O, oh. oh, ayun. Iyan na natin. Atty. Kiko, anong ano? What stood up dun sa presentation ni Abit? Okay siya kasi it covers your fundamentals eh. Mm-hmm. So, dapat alam mo yung fundamentals mo. Na kaya mong gawin ang trabaho mo kahit wala kang tools. Hmm. Hmm. So, para oh, oh, ginagawa ng ibang tao inaasa lahat sa tools. Sabi niyo nga kanina, eh, 'di ba? Upsell ng vendor. And <laughs> kung di mo alam ginagawa mo, 'yun, maano ka? You really have to go back to the basics. You have to understand what you're doing. Hmm. And then from there, doon ka magbe-branch out na kailangan ko ba ng tool na ganito? Kailangan ko ba nito? Hmm. And You know, that's yung nilature ni Sir Abit kanina. That's something that every single person in our industry has to know. Hmm. Oh, parang naalala mo nung college ka, Sam, yung first HTML, meron na bang ano eh, uh, front page eh. Bakit pa ako mag-notepad? Pa <laughs> 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 ako mag-notepad eh, front page naman. Nadrag-drag ko lang eh. It's more. Uh, uh, Hey, ito, magandang gabi po, Sir Sol. Ayan, no? Ayan, great end, guys. Thank you. Stay po. Uh, first part pa lang ito. Meron Uy, si Sir Sol. Oh, Sir Sol, kamusta na? Magandang gabi po, Sir Sol. Retiree ng meral ko yan, yes. si Sir Sol. Oo. Oh, oh. Yes. Minsan, oh. imitahan natin yan dito. Oh, Isang okay, episode okay. sa audit Pama. naman. Pama. Pag nag-retire ka ba si meral ko, an only electricity ka na. <laughs> Ewan ko, tanong natin si Sir Sol. Salam <laughs> <Alam> niya yan. <laughs> Salap niya. Ito, na-miss doon uh, ni ano, Sir Michael. Oh, maganda gayon po, Sir Michael Santos. No? Uh, pwede niyo po makatch a replay yung talk ng ating kaibigan si Abed de la Cruz. No? So, Mike Santos. Oo, oh, maganda Uy, gabi po. Kuya Mike, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, oh, pero balikan nga, natin yung, balikan nga natin yung sinasabi nga yung ano, back to basics na sinasabi ni Attorney Kicks, no? Yung isa pang framework, yung kahili, kinakahiligan din namin ni Abet, PPT. P- People, Process, and Technology. Mm-hmm. Ang nangyayari kasi kung misan sa implementation ng security, nauuna yung technology. Mm-hmm. Okay? Without really defining what your policy is, what your procedure is going to be. No? Mm-hmm. Of course, it goes without saying din na sisiguraduhin mo na may tao ka na who is knowledgeable and armed with the necessary skills. But, 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 Ninong, it's a nice, big, shiny box. <laughs> <laughs> and may kasamang jacket, Abet, di ba? Oo, tama. Oo, nako. <laughs> Sorry po. Uh, again, shout out sa mga vendor friends natin. Ano? Galing din kami sa vendors ni Abet. Uh, kaya, but, uh, again, we're just living you. Uh, yun ang po, kailangan talag din naman natin ng partnership ng mga vendors kasi they're also driving innovation. No? And because of their huge R&D, sa kanila po nang gagaling yung karamihan ng innovation. Pero yun nga po, uh, partner with them. Uh, ano ba't, uh, yun nga, don't, don't uh, over, ano, over buy technology. Okay, marami po pong dapat uh, pwede paggastusan dyan. Just, just be dyan informed. Dyan. Huwag kayong mm-hmm. pagugoyaw. Mm-hmm. Okay, tanong po kayo, ayan. Ayan naman si Ninong dito sa kasi, ano, uh, Kuya Abet. Okay. Uy, Kaloy Reyes, magandang gabi po, sir. Sir Kaloy. Uy, si Kaloy. Uy, sir Kaloy, uh, guest ka next Friday, ha? Ayan, yes, yun pala. Sir. Bonjour mo ba? 
<laughs> Matagal ka na namin hinahanap. Oo, oh, oh, oh. diba? Imbitahan natin yan. Oo. Oh, oh. Tama. Dalawin natin ito. Mabuhay po, the ICT Cyber Security Bureau. Oh, dalawin natin sila pagka... Tapos na may building nila yung, ano, yung, yung, yung bago? Uh, alam ko na sa Quezon City na sila. Wala na sa, wala na sa NCC. Sa Roses. Sa Roses. Sa Roses. Nasa Roses yung ano. Magapit sa dati namin. CSB. Yes. Uy, yung hotel um, doon. <laughs> Sir Kaloy, shout out. Meron po silang mobile sock. Ah, Yan, wow. Ay, hindi, hindi pa rin lumilipat. Ay, ay, uh, so, good evening. But good evening. Good evening, Sir Kaloy. Ha? Magandang gabi po for tuning in. Yeah. No? So, again, nagpunta ka, na, may update tayo sa site nila pero mukhang hindi pa nila napopost sa Facebook. Eh. So, but again, salamat po. Lalo na yung inyong focus dun sa water utility ano? for the past uh, few episodes po. Talagang hina-highlight namin yun. Napakahalaga talaga ng protektahan ang ating mga vital ano, uh, industries. Ako, ang nagustuhan ko kay Abit kasi if you were, ano, you'll anchor yourselves on uh, standards and frameworks, magkakaroon pa yun ng common language. Eh. Hmm. Di ba? So, mm-hmm. yung common language yun, napakahalaga po yan. Kasi nga po, isang ano, no, maling pagkakaintindi lang yan, pinasa mo yung information, for example, sa DPO mo. Yung DPO mo, uh, binalik kay CISO. Si CISO, pinasa kay CIO, etc. Kung hindi po pare-pareho yung language ninyo, and it's, it's normally the case, ano, kasi nga sometimes yung ibang background ng pinanggagalingan, di ba, ng mga IRC. Maganda po na magkaroon talaga ng, ano, ng common standards and framework, yung organization. So that you will be speaking the same language. Okay? Uh, diba, Abet, dito, attorney kicks, no? Yung slight miscommunication lang can be, ano, can be fatal. Oh, 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 oh. oh. can be fatal. Mm. <laughs> lalo, lalo na kung yung kausap mo may sariling definition. Yan. 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 Oh, yan. Siguro makata siya na ginagin ko na, ano, ano, y- Si Abed focus mostly on ano sa cybersecurity framework. But again, di, ano po to, it maps well with the Data Privacy Act. Mm-hmm. Lalo na sa ano sa across all players lalabas po 'yan eh. But may mga standards din tayo na mahahagip in the, in the succeeding episodes na naka-focus din sa ano sa data pa privacy. Yan yeah, yung uh, the ISO CD 77001 etc. So yan pwede nating balikan yan uh, for future episodes yan. Abet, maraming salamat ha. So winaw muna naman kami ano. Sakto lang po. Thank you. Tama-tama kasi katatapos na yung presentation. <laughs> Alam mo, dalawang presentation yun na, na I, I presented. So yung, yung kabila dito, yung kabila dito. <laughs> Kaya Salamat nga, di ba? Oo, oh, 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 ako agad eh. <laughs> Salamat cut and paste. Oh, ano, ako agad kasi kagagawa lang. Oh. Uh, and, and again, congratulations to the Philippine Computer Society. Uh, yes. yung SP for holding the cybersecurity event, no? Commemorating 9-11 with <laughs> 20 years. So, wala dito si uh, Titus Manuel and uh, our friends at the PCS uh, also. Mm-hmm. Yan, nakalib na naman si Titus. Nang tagal nang wala na Titus, ha? Parang yung Friday date, no? And uh, belated happy birthday sa may bahay po ni Titus oh, Manuel. Siyempre, the date mo ito naman birthday. Oh, yeah. Parang libo so, naman sa mga birthday ni Missy, siyempre date mo na. Tama. Sa kasi Engels Antonio is on transit right now. So, magandang gabi. Regards also to your may bahay, uh, Maggie Antonio. And of course, uh, siyempre si Kat nasa back, backstage. No? So, Kat Alinea, magandang gabi. Uh, okay. Update sa tayo. Madami tayong itatakal ngayon sa update. So, sure. Natin yung, ano, ito. Let me share my screen, everyone. Ayan. Request ni Celto yung updates. Eh. So, ayan. Unahin natin, i-share ko lang itong ano, Twibsec, no? So, if you're not familiar with this, uh, this is actually a, uh, ano, this, uh, yan, puro events yan. Uh, oh, it happens like oh. two to three times a year, and it's free, yes. libre po ka. Okay, and maganda yung topic, sa if you look at it, the, really, uh, most of the speakers come from Europe, eh, but there are also speakers that come from Asia Pacific and the Americas, yeah. definitely. But uh, primarily po, uh, U- uh, European uh, practitioners are driving this. Partner yeah. na si BBC. Nago, kung di pa po kayo nagka- nagre-register, I'm going to post uh, no, the link so you can go uh, straight to the, ano, ipopost ko lang dito. Ha. So, but, uh, yeah. sign po to, kasi this is free. Libre yep. po siya. Wow. So, Please register and uh, dito po kami pupulot ng mga sinishare namin sa inyo. Siyempre, we synthesize it and Nakapag, localize it. Nakapag-guest na ako dyan. Gusto mo bang maging guest dyan? I-refer yeah. kita. Wow! Kailangan ko uh, straight English uh, doon dito eh. International! Uh, oh, tapos na yun nila. Call for papers sila. So probably yung next... Uh, ano yan? Oh. 
by ano yan, by referral siya. Hmm. So nagtatanong sila kung ano yung sino, from dating speakers. Tapos yun, tinutuloy oh. na ganyan. So yan, ano siya? They, okay, ano talaga. Talaga. So don't miss this, ano? Okay. And next update po, ito po, uh, magtuturo ulit sa attorney Kiko. Okay, so yan. October 16, 23, send run. Finally, nakita ko na yung link. I'm going to post a short link po kasi medyo mahaba. Uh, ito po yung uh, ano, uh, DPO sa Data Privacy Fundamentals. On, ang creator po ng course si former DEPCOM uh, Don Dimapa. So, and uh, yun nga po, this will be delivered by our only certified trainer for NADPAC, si Attorney Kiko Acero. So, ipopost ko po for, ano, for October training yan uh, dito. Just click on the link and you will go to this site and you can register. No? So, Ang price po niya, siyempre may a bit pricey but uh, you know, sulit po yan. Sulit na sulit yan. Kasi si Atty. Kiko ang mag-ano talaga. Siyang, siyang inyang magiging drill master. You know? Basta yeah, si Atty. Kiko sulit palagi. Uh, and we, if you pass the, ano, the exam, then you'll be given a NADPAP a digital badge. Okay? Ito po yan. So, shout out din sa ating friends at Enderan. Okay? Ito. So, nakita ko to. <laughs> Meron palang global site ng Cloud Security Alliance, uh, it's the Cloud Security Alliance Global, no? And we just wrap up their September, in global event, sa, ano, happened in Bellevue, Washington, malapit to sa dating headquarters, nung, as headquarters ng dating ating kumpanya. <laughs> sa, mother, sa mothership. <laughs> no. Dati ito, uh, mahal pagka sa Seattle na kasi yan, eh, di ba, tumire. So, doon kami nag-hotel sa Bellevue. <laughs> Saka mas malapit. <laughs> correct, correct, correct. <laughs> mas mura. Saka so, nandun yung outlet. Carpool, carpool. Oh, carpool, carpool. <laughs> yeah, so, ito po, again, congratulations to CSA Global. Ano, for nakita ko to kay Dr. Dr. Lee, magandang gabi po. Saka Ryan T, the chairman of CSA Philippines. Uy, Ryan. Uh, uh, Dr. Co-founders din kami niyan. Ako si Abet saka si Lito, di ba? So, yun po, supportahan po natin na ang CSA din dahil uh, partner organization din po siya ng Bounce Back, uh, not pop saka ng Pinkster. Ito yun ang yung event nila. So, September. May mga recordings po so you can go to their site. Uh, if you are, would well, like to focus on cloud security. Maganda din, ano, they actually uh, released uh, you know, um, several updates dun sa, ano, dun sa event. And uh, meron din silang framework na that they have shared uh, also in the event. Punta naman tayo sa ano, NPC, <laughs> sa local. Okay, isa yeah. lang update ng NPC. Eh. So it's about this, no? yung, yung joint press statement in all caps. Ha? Nagulat ako sa all caps na ito. Eh. Talagang sumisigaw. Oh. <laughs> sumisigaw kasi hot na hot yan eh. So, correct, oh, oh. sa Pintech Alliance. So, so ito yun, really, it's all preamble. But uh, the, the logos that are here are actually have committed you know, to... Well, comply with the data privacy act. No? Pero alam niyo ba, uh, in attorney kicks uh, dito, Abet, napaka, nakakagulat yung mga comments doon sa sa Facebook. Ano? Mas oh. interesting yung comments eh. Gusto nyo tingnan? Sige, <laughs> sige, sige. Hindi <laughs> <Tingnan natin, laughs> ko siya ma-screenshot ka rin. So, tingnan natin siya ng live. No? So, dahil nandun talaga yung calls ng, ano, eh, ng mga data subjects. Eh. So, Yan lang ang update nila. So, this is the post. I'm going to... Sorry, ah. Yan. Yeah. Akala ko kaya all caps. Nakalimutan na yung caps lock. Eh. Hindi, hindi. Ayan. Tingnan natin mga post. So, sumigaw. Ito. So, this is the, no? This is the thread. Okay? Yan. So, 288 likes. Uy. 150 comments. Ah. Ang daming comments ito. So, ito. Si Winnie Pooch. I, I'm sure, ano yan. It's a... Uh, what were the actions of the National Privacy Commission with regard to the online, other online lending companies who are using unlawful tactics? Yan, shut down all. May hashtag sila. Okay? Uh-oh. Hindi natin mga nag-reply sa ilalim. Parang wala kasabot din ata. Hmm, medyo negative. Hmm. No? Ito. Ayun naman. Oo oh, nga eh. Jim JM asked, those with logos are the companies that, na nag-attend lang? Question. Sa National Privacy Commission. Ito yung kanila sila, harassment, public shaming, social media, pagtanggal sa trabaho, istapa ng ano pang, yan, fake demand letters, death threats, and even using the name of public or service, yan. These, and then meron daw suicide case. I, I don't know kung verified to, no? So, wow. Oo. Oh. Oo. Oh, oh. oh. And ako rin, I heard it. But, uh, yung nga, na those who were shamed, some of them were really, you know, uh, that they either took Perfect. their life or nagkaroon ng breakdown. Oh. Yeah. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin, eh. 
Mm-hmm. So, ako, ako pag minimessage ako ng mga ganyan, ng mga nasa contact list nila, sinasabi ko sa kanila na I'm now advising yung tao na wag na kayong bayaran kasi nagbabayarate mm-hmm. na kayo ng law. Yeah. Meron yan, may, may ano yun eh, sa SEC, may batas oh. na na you can't do what they do. Mm-hmm. Ito ah, yung call pa rin no. Ah, uh, ito si San yeah, no? Oliver, sabi naman niya na hindi umattend syempre yung mga Syempre <laughs> <laughs> naman. Oh, oh, wala na no. So, umattend pa rin yung mga matitino, di ba? And then tuloy-tuloy lang, if you look at this, karami yan call talaga shut down all us. In ba some of the extreme shut down all all us. Okay? Ayun. So, nagulat ako actually dito sa ano eh. So, ito may kinall out pa niya kung sino yung mga ano. Si Kaloy Gadiana, sabi niya na he's going to file a complaint against Pedicash, Cash P, Cash Jeep, Madali Loan, Ponte Cash, East Cash, Kusug Pera, etc. Uh, and then, the following apps uh, are getting harassed, uh, harassing my family, uh, friends, co-workers, may death threats pa, etc. So, ito, no? yung napansin ko lang dito, kasi if you're, di ba, role in social media, uh, tanggalin ko tayo, go back to that, is that walang response si NPC. There's no response. Uh-oh. Dun sa mga comments, kahit man lang noted or something. So that's the thing with ano eh, the thing with uh, social media. It has to be a dialogue. Eh. But it seems that parang siguro walang time to respond to that. So ilang nagulat na talaga ako. Uh, very ano pa rin, Very well, to me ah, parang ang, ang I felt the pain of those who were calling for the shutdown of the Olas, no? So nakakalungkot. But uh, yun nga, I mean, for the past few weeks, you noticed dito yung nagpo-focus si NPC na, so online lending apps. Saka Apat- sa panahon din eh, mm. ipit Fast din yung mga years. tao, mm. ipit Fast din yung mga tao dahil sa pandemia, kaya kumakagal mm. sila sa mga apps na ganyan. Mm. Yep. Mm. Yun ang masakit. Mm. Mm. Tapos sasamantalahin din naman ng apps provider mm. yung mga umutang sa kanila. Mhm. Ilang uh, nakakalungkot ano pero nga kung kung kailangan siguro ng tulong ng NPC uh, at least yan oh uh, baka po maganda na sagutin yung mga doon comments doon. Lalo pa isa yung nag-file ng complaint uh, uh, maybe an uh, response there is that if you want to file a complaint, di ba? Uh, against this then this is the process. Sana lang po sinasagot yung mga nagko-comments doon na pwedeng na actionable. Oh. Uh, para po mag-guide din sila, then do not leave them hanging. Ano? Kasi nga, you posted it there. And again, social media should be a dialogue. Hindi siya, ano. Uh, otherwise, di ba, sayang yung, ano, uh, putting your content on Facebook. If you are not responding, for example, to requests like that, to comments like that, na actionable naman eh. You pwede namang, uh, na, uh, uh, ano lang. Somebody That's should right. be manning it, actually. So, <laughs> Eh, mahirap naman talaga magman eh. I mean, tayo, even nga yung ating pages, hindi tayo makasagot sometimes, di ba? Kasi nga, yeah. But this one, it's an official site. Eh. It's a site of the NPC, and they have the responsibility, I believe, and they can have the manpower. Maghire ka ng ano, wala kang headcount, then maghire ka uli ng ano, di ba nakita mo naman natin yun, to be your social media community manager dito po sa, ano, sa page. Hello po, Chairman Mon, sana po makarating po ito sa inyo. Again, uh, we're, uh, again kudos for ano, driving this, ano, pero marami po pong ano, dapat sanang gawin para po ma-action na natin, di ba? Nakita ko yung ano, na, napakasakit po sa puso yung mga comments doon ng mga kababayan natin na nabiktima ng mga shameless, di ba, na online lending applications and unethical online lending applications. So, okay. May comment po tayo kay Sir Michael Santos. Yan, noted po. So, yan, Sir know, Mike yan, from CID. Oh. Ah, Sir Mike, magandang uh, gabi yeah. po. Ano? So, Sir, pumagin sa akin doon. Ayan, thank you very much, sir. Sir Mike, kung ano po, uh, just reach out to Attorney Gil and us. We can uh, actually, uh, again, lend support to the NPC. Hanap po tayo ng volunteers, for example, kung short sa budget or wala na headcount. So, thank you, sir Mike. Magandang gabi po. Okay. But again, uh, to all of these, no, uh, who signed here, <laughs> ayan, sana po operationally compliant na kayo. Yun lang, I mean, I think there's no sense in putting your name here if you are not complying fully oh, kami. with the data nandiyan privacy. Kami, yeah. oh, siyempre, yeah. oh, yan. Mali, so, ayun, no, sa bandang kanan. Testing yan natin yung mga kumpanya dito na <laughs> customer tayo, humingi tayo na, ano, mag-request tayo ng, <laughs> ng data subject, ano, request. Sige, sige. 
PSR tayo dito. Anyway, uh, again, kudos to the NPC for driving this. Uh, yung ako, sana po ma-address din po lahat ng mga ano, ang concerns. And yun naman pong ni mga Ola, please, huwag yun na pong biktimahin ng mga kababayan natin, lalo pa ngayon may pandemia. <laughs> Kaya, yun lang po. And uh, again, please don't hesitate to reach out to us or simply to the NPC if you need more help. I'm sure po after this, uh, they're going to respond na to your ano, to your questions and queries. Okay? Next. Ayan. <laughs> Ang hirap yeah. lang yun, no? kasi nangangailangan ka. Ika nga, kapit sa patalim. Uh -huh. uh, wala. Naalala ko rin sabi ng Lola, parang para sanglaan eh. Mahirap yeah. na nga yung tao. <laughs> yeah. Pinapahirap siya pa lalo. Uh -huh. Actually, kaya nga may sanglaan eh because there's a real chance na hindi mo na yung mababawi. Uh -huh. Correct. And uh, yung mga ito, tag- Naghirap talaga yan. So, um, the amount of pressure that you need to put on them to pay, there's a fine line talaga between too much pressure and a lot of times they just cross the line. Kasi nga, they carry this over from ano eh, hmm. from other countries na okay lang yan. Uh -huh. And hindi, hindi siya app sa ating kultura. Hmm. So, hmm. Hmm. Tsaka, yung behavior na to hindi lang sa mga small time, di ba? Kahit yung malalaking bangko na inutangan mo. Pag pinasa nila doon yes. sa collection agent, di ba? Yes. Oh, Actually, oh. ano, mga modus ng collection agent yan eh. Hmm. And Agreed. I think that it should be the start of a larger conversation with um, the collection industry on how they actually do things. There you go. Tama. Collection industry, yes. yes. Hmm. It's an hmm. industry. Meron bang collection industry dito sa mga nag-sign dito? <laughs> Parang wala. Ano? Mga small players yun eh. Mga small businesses. Mga collection, ano? Oh, Tapos, yeah. driven sila by ano eh. By Malaki yung percentage quotas. nila. Mm. Smart so, na dyan eh. Oh. Yan. Andyan yung paymaya eh. Oh. Okay. May umatend ko sa inyo ng ano, briefing. Report kami dyan. <laughs> Nakatend ko. Abit ang umatend ka ba? Wala. Busy ako. Pumunta ako sa sanlaan. <laughs> <laughs> Ayaw mong ma-launch eh, ma. <laughs> Pumunti na yung sanlaan eh. At least, nabigay mo na yung gamit mo. Kaya hindi ka magbayan. Wala na hamunin <laughs> sa'yo. <laughs> Sinangalangan mo na may plan sa'yo, ha? Yung... <laughs> hindi. Uh, yung ano ko? iPhone Washing. 6. Akala <laughs> uh, ko washing machine eh. Oh. Ito, yun tayo sa ating mga kaibigan uh, sa Privacy PH. No? So, uh, ito again, uh, reiterating, no? maganda rin na nagkikera ng local uh, publications ito nga, sa Manila Times article ni Jibumatu. Tama ba yung pangalan niya na data privacy should be top priority? Especially now, no? again, we continue to emphasize during uh, our previous episodes up to now, talagang should put a priority. Lalo na po yung mga MSMEs natin, ano, alam ko po namin na mahirap talaga. But lalo na po kung marami kayong personal information na kinokolekta, yun po kailangan pong protektahan nyo yung mga kinokolekta nyo na yun. Kasi po baka magkaroon kayo ng data breach. Yun po. Uh, ito naman, ito yung kinag-uusapan natin kanina. No? So, uh, Korea, uh, pining big brands, Facebook and Netflix. Actually, kasama si Google dito but Google wasn't fine. Kasi nga, their regulator uh, found that, uh, you know, only in Facebook and Netflix are uh, actually, you know, the one liable, liable for... Ipapost ko yung link lang para makita rin ng ating mga uh, listeners, ano. But, uh, again, question ko nga dito, uh, how can a country like Korea, for example, uh, flex its muscles and then go after global companies like Facebook and Netflix and even Google, which is also mentioned in the article. Okay? So, if you brev it, ito talaga yung... Uh, ang pangalan ng DP, NPC nila doon, the Personal Information Protection Commission. Yes. Uh, and they you know, find yung... Uh, um, Nearly 6.7 billion won or 5.7 billion dollars. Kayang-kaya ng Korea, eh tayo, mas malaki pa yung number of subscribers natin from, mm. uh, sorry, from Singapore, di ba? Mm. Yes. They're, they're good ah, people. Korea pala, they're, Korea, sorry. In terms of size, they're around the same size as the NPC. Mm. Mm. So, you know, uh, I'm I'm hopeful, no, na this sparks a wave. 
Nangyari din naman sa European eh, way oh. pag may isang privacy authority nagsabi, ito fine. Correct. Tapos sunod-sunod sa ganyan. So hopefully dito meron din. Um but sana lumabas na yung fine schedule ng ano para talagang merong ano sila. Para may ngipin sila ng guman yan. I-share lang natin yung article uh ano. Mm-hmm. Uh, maganda yung napakasimple yan the way it was written yung nga lang the site is not secure ha, kung na-expire na yung SSL nila so basahin po natin yung article ito yan a South Korean watchdog on personal information protection Wednesday find major foreign platform for HRIT 6.7 billion won yung nga the PIPC method penalty against Facebook Netflix and Google and ordered them to fix the problems following its probe Ito yung kay Facebook, ano, slap with the heaviest penalty of 6.46 billion won. Yan, they created and stored facial recognition templates of 200,000 local users without consent in between April 2018 and September 2019. No? So it's, uh, the, uh, the, this is the latest from uh, Pine, uh, Facebook. And then in November 2020, they ordered Facebook pay na 6.7 billion won. And sought a criminal investigation to provide personal information to other operators without their consent. Okay? And then, ito rin, they were accused of collecting people's residential registration number in an unlawful way and not notifying changes regarding its personal information management. So, grabbing fine things, no? Dun sa, sa practice ni Facebook. Meanwhile, Netflix, your favorite, ano? 220 million won a month for collecting the personal information of 5 million people without their consent even before their service registration process was completed. Okay? And the content seems yet to social network. We're not unveiling information, personal data transfer out of the country. So, may data transfer pa outside of Korea. It happens. Mm. So, find what is recommended to improve its personal information handling measures by the commission. Ayan. Ito lang sabi nila. Vague daw yung, ano, yung personal, uh, collecting personal information notice ng Google. Okay, so grabe yung uh, investigation. Ano? So ganito pa yung level of ano, sophistication that uh, the NPC can also do here in the Philippines. Yeah, Sorry. they have the power to do that. They have, they have the technical capabilities there for them to be mm-hmm. able to analyze that. That's there. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, yung, uh, to related din sa, ano, i-play ko na rin yung ano, um, si TikTok naman. Ano? So this is from Ireland. Yung second update ni ano eh. So... This also came from Privacy PH. And TikTok's lead key regulator opens two data privacy probes. Sa TikTok, as you know, TikTok uh, is also a big social media platform, lalo na sa mga Gen Z, ano? And this oh, is a summary. Jan nakatambay si Sam, eh. <laughs> 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 sa ibang TikTok, ito. So, Ireland pala, sa EU pala, Attorney Gates, uh, they assigned, yes. ano, no? This for, ano, no? Ireland so, is the, is the invest is the jurisdiction that has a lot of uh Big a lot of their ano is there kasi yung Ireland may reputation siya for being controller friendly yeah so, at the same uh, time marami uh, software development for, ano, firms doon eh in fact are hindi nang ibang software firms yung mothership niya dati nandun yeah correct correct oh yan yan and yeah, there's a probe over processing of children's data Especially sa TikTok, mm-hmm. no? I, I don't think they, ano, they sent to yung pagka-minor ka. Sa katutak. Oo. Oh. Uh, yes. And then, ito pa, second, over data transfers to China. And yes. then, ito na, ito take note, possible fine up to 4% of global revenue. Oo, oh, yun naman ang ano eh. Mm-hmm. Yung, 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 yung DPR. That's overly sensitive, ah. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Oh. Kasi special categories of personal information na pagbata sa kanila. Oo. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. Tapos, oh, oh. Tapos prohibited yung transfer uh, unless may binding corporate clauses. Mm-hmm. Uh, siguro meron. But China has its own, has its new data privacy law. Which mm-hmm. is just mm-hmm. as, ano, no? Um, it's strange also. So, <laughs> So, parang, um, okay. That's, it's interesting where, where they go because you know, Ireland has such a big reputation for being controller friendly. So, mm. yung ibang ano, where um, if the finding is okay lang, um, other regulators in, elsewhere in Europe might have a different opinion. Mm. So, 
where this goes is going to be super interesting. Mm -hmm, definitely. Especially think uh, TikTok is growing. Eh. Uh, right now, they like, expand the They already have corporate, ano, uh, corporate videos. So they're pitching mm -hmm. their service already to, you know, to uh, corporates. And yeah. Uh, 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 dito sa atin, isahan nyo, election, magiging <laughs> campaign platform yan. Yes. <laughs> Hey, simula na, matagal na, no, di ba? Yeah, yeah, no. Oo, oh, di ba? Ah, lahat ng pitches ngayon, business or political wise, puro video na lahat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. so, speaking But of videos, ano, mm -hmm. nag-increase sila ng limit to 10 minutes oh, on their okay. platform. Mm -hmm. Ang dami mong content na pwede mo isaksak doon na with guaranteed echo chamber. Yep. So, napaka-potent yan for elections. Uh -huh. Yep. And, and Byte Dance is the owner of TikTok. Right? May, may makikita na naman ba tayong senator na sasayaw? <laughs> baka. <laughs> baka hindi lang senator, baka pati presidential candidate saka vice president. Lahat na sila. <laughs> no, kasi di ba, na, nasa ano din ako eh, sa, I'm also into election issues. Uh -huh. And that is one na uh, maging issue nga sa campaign. It's going to be one of the platforms for campaigning. Mm -hmm. yeah, no. And then, of course, yung electronic. Kasi because of the pandemic, a lot of the rules on campaigning has changed. No, may issue yan by next year. Correct. Uh, Correct. Bawal na yung, ano, yung large groups, yung mga meeting the advance. Mm -hmm. Kahit yung face-to-face -face campaigning, yung door-to-door, -door, mm -hmm. regulated yan. Strictly Correct. regulated. Uh -huh. <laughs> Online think, the only benefit Lahat dito pa sa pandemic sa social media. Hindi mo na kailangan hindi na nila kailangan maging ano sa mga posters <laughs> kasi wala namang lumalabas. Oo. Oh. So, pwedeng pwede talaga diyan sa TikTok lumabas because the algorithm is so potent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, definitely. Oh. Ay, may ano, may comment si ano, Sir Mike again ito. So, Attorney Kicks do a session how to file and what to file uh e video. Yan. Sige, sige. Sakto yung sa pang TikTok ato ni Kix. In TikTok? In TikTok form? In TikTok form? In TikTok form? Ayun kaya, patayo lang naman eh. Uh, patayo so, lang yung dapat burning eh. <laughs> Dapat may mga acronyms ka, tapos may kasama sayaw. Yan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mahirap yung sayaw, baka mahari Rocky ako. Ay, what did I say? Sorry, I put it down. <laughs> Hindi <laughs> naman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But make sure na, no, may, may nagkakoreo for you and you take dance lessons. Sige. Don't don't just dance on TikTok without, you know. Sige, sige. Kunin natin si Miss Maribet Bichara. Yeah. For me, Omar Sanab, the ICT yan. Ha? Ang meeting na ng SOSE, yeah. uh, statements of contributions and expenses na itong mm. nag-reflect na may paid ads sa social. Tama. And if common career course of media ng social media networks, Tama. Tama. mga contracts yeah. ng candidates. Yeah. Tama. Thank you, Attorney uh, uh, Omar Sana. No? Maybe, the... Tinitingnan yan. Tinitingnan yan. Tinitingnan yan. among the issues nga yung social media, mm. uh, social ad placements, no? social media ad placements, gustong matrack ng common yan. Mm -hmm. How they're going to do it, I don't know yet. <laughs> Pwede namang What friends of Nanya na nag-post eh, di ba? So, wala na exactly. <laughs> exactly, that's the issue. Paid for the by the friends of attorney Kiko Acero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sa barangay, ano, Forbes Park. Doon ka tatak mo. Hindi, okay. tsaka maganda just kasi sa advantage din kasi ng ano, ng ads na yan sa, on social media pwedeng targeted to specific geography eh so Tama. kung nandun yung balwarte mo iba yung theme ng ad mo do sa balwarte mo Tama. Tama. hindi mo balwarte pwede mo rin i-target yun pero iba naman yung ano no, yung, ah, yung yeah. campaign strategy oh, hyperlocalization yung, yung distribution oh. Oh. hyperlocal yung tawag yan o oh. Ako okay, ayun, oh. Tony Kiko, kitahan ni Sir Mike, ayun na. <laughs> Taya ka yan, totoo yan. Sabi mo, Tony Kiko, sige, pengin budget. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos na nga, ano, budget hearing, ano, di ba? 
Okay, so yun nga sa DACT Cybersecurity Bureau, uh, wala po tayong nakitang post. But again, punta tayo sa ating backyard, no, sa DPO Centro. Ito, Oliver Besa, magandang gabi. <laughs> Halloween! Ang yan. Yan. <laughs> oh, nakakatawa itong post ni Oliver. Si Oliver po, pinaka-prolific, kaya alam minsan, yun nga, puro post na lang ni Oliver, nakikita natin doon. <laughs> Mag-post naman kasi kayo, Abit, dito. <laughs> 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 Oh, MVP na lang siya. Ito nga ito si, ano eh, si Straits for, may ano daw, marami daw opening ng DPO sa Singapore. Singapore. Oh, oh. Yun yung nice. isang posting niya, Oliver Besa, ano. Kaya, oh, kailangan okay. nyo, placement, ano, assistance, baka makatulong ang Straits Interactive. No? Magandang gabi sa ating mga kibig. Edwin Concepcion, magandang gabi rin. Of course, ang kanilang uh, founder, no, na base sa Singapore, di ba? Si Kevin Shepardson. Ito! Ito! Titas Manuel nag-post data analytics on Dejo Cloud. Okay, siyempre, data pa rin yan. Uh, but uh, this is organized by ITS in partnership with Crayon. No? So, Crayon is one of the solutions to uh, ISV uh, in the Philippines. It's happening September 22. Nakapost po yun sa NADTOP DTO Central. Click nyo na yung link or bril yung QR code to register. Mukhang libre yata ito, no? Uh, kaya pala busy ano, si Mr. Titas Manuel, right? And ito, uh, we get back to IAPP. Marami pong updates, but this is the one that's ano, yun, California. Uh, CCPA ang focus in the, on one of their posts. So, puntahan na rin po ang site ni IAPP. So, you can see a global view. Kung si Flip Check po, nakafocus sa Europe. Sa IAPP mostly po, nakafocus sa US. So, ganun po yung parang geo distribution ng mga global associations na to. Okay, dako, dito na tayo abit. Uy! Di ba meron dyan? <laughs> yun natin, ha? <laughs> It's ano lang, resurrection team na naman, di ba? So, ayan, ito. Uy. Shout out sa global eh. Yan. <laughs> Hindi yan yung latest post, ha? Ano ba ito? ito, ito, ito. Yan ba? Hindi. Ito yan. 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 Kwento mo naman, dito, Abet. Yan, taser to eh. So, okay. Jump to lights. Go ahead. Ano yan eh, mindsetting na. Parang tinanggap mo nang na-breach ka. What will you do? Mm, correct, correct. So, correct. with that mindset, mind, mindset sa organizations, everybody is on their toes. Mm. Uh, talagang very watchful. So, yun yung mm. effect niya, niya sa mindset, mindset na yan. Right? Kesa yung proactive na nagmo-monitor ka, ang assumption mo na-breach ka na. Mm -hmm. Actually, it brings into the spotlight one of the uh, functions. No? Pero, pero mostly if you have a mature information security team, no? yung threat hunting. Yeah. Yeah. Yung, yung threat hunting is proactive talagang. Ang trabaho nila maghanap, 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 maghanap. So I guess you know, that will probably highlight the need for more threat hunters. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hindi, ano yun nga, yung, kasi nga yung, yung time to discover a breach, di ba? Yan. Yeah. 260 days. Yung aim yata nito is to shorten the time to discovery. Yes. Correct. So, Correct. Tama, tama yun. So maganda nga, I mean, I mean it, it's, it's good at this, uh, it's whole country, ano? Uh, it's the regulator telling everyone, hey, ganito yung mode natin, di ba? So I'm sure everyone will follow. Yung sabi nga nila, Singapore is a fine city, you know? So, sila maraming napapine doon. So, <laughs> eh, even for this protection, you know? And, diba, and, and, so. Ano, nang gano'n sila ng zero trust ngayon. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yep. that's something that should have been done before, but glad they're now on the bandwagon. Hmm. Yep. Bantayin natin. Yep. Lalo yung mga DPOs na magtatrabaho doon, no? Or nandun hmm. na, nakatiploy na. Again, yes. uh, never, never trust, trust always verify. Yeah. Yes. Uh, sino ba si Joseph Antio? She's the counterpart ni ano, no? Para si ICT. Uh, uh, the ICT. Uh. Ah, okay. The ICT. The ICT. Hmm. Okay, that's the last ano natin. That's the last uh, update. Then you manipis po, but uh, again, at least, yung may bago tayong um, Facebook group, CSA, no? Yung CSA Philippines kasi we have to reactivate. Ako, ito. Attorney Kiko, ayan na. Abangan na ni Sir Mike. Yung <laughs> <laughs> Post natin dun sa... Pahingin ng staff mo. 
Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, si Rutan yan, Sir Roger, thank you very much for uh, sir. Yan din nasa privacy by design din yan, yung principle ng zero trust. Oh, it's, it's the yeah, new paradigm. Yung mga yan, zero trust, trust but verify, never trust but verify. Yan. How do you operation, ang question ko doon sa isang paper na nareview ko, is how do you operationalize that with AI? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, actually, yeah, AI can contribute a lot to zero trust. Yeah. No? Kasi, um, well, you know, first of all, it's a mindset. Second, it's a paradigm. And third, it's not as easy to implement <laughs> technically. Either you want exactly. to rebump your entire network uh, or, uh-huh. or, or you know, uh, you need to change a lot of things. Kasi lahat sinecheck mo, lahat verify mo down to the applications, down to the calls, down to the API. So, you know, it, it's not as easy as you think it is. But, you know, yeah, having the right mindset at least, yeah. Oh, pero pagka nilagyan mo nga ng AI, uh, kasi ang AI, tinitignan niya yung behavioral patterns. Mm-hmm. You know, ng mga, halimbawa, yung traffic mo. Is it, ang question is, is it legitimate traffic or not? Mm-hmm. Diba? So, magiging default mode mo if you don't trust it, block it until I verify. Correct. So, mm-hmm. pwede mag-freeze yung ano mo eh. Pwede mm-hmm. mag-freeze yung system mo kasi lahat binablock ni AI. Correct. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, mawa, at, at some point, posible na ma- mawala yung services mo. Yep. Mm-hmm. Kasi AI's weakness is context. Yes. Precisely. Uh, mm-hmm. But it's can still be trained eh. Yung nga, through time talaga uh, as you continue to train it to end it. Ah, so, tama, so, tama, tama. Ito, so, sabi ni Sir Roger, very hard daw, uh, micro-segmenting. Uh-huh. Uh, that's just going to happen. Yun, correct. Yun. Micro-segmenting. Thank you, yeah. Sir Roger, for that. Oh. Yun talaga. Ako, okay. Tony Kiko, marami na naghihintay ng TikTok video. Maganda gawin po. Din sa kayo. Panay yeah. comedy ang TikTok ko. Yeah, yeah Panay Kiko. Kiko. <laughs> Nagawa akong bato. Kailangan lumipot pa tayo, no? Kailangan lumipot pa tayo platform, di ba? Nati yung kapatahan yun, eh. No? Sam, Sam, Sam nai- nai-imagine ko na. If you cannot protect it, don't collect it. Ang kalang ko, abit yung ganun, eh. Di ba yung... Pero again, tam- tama naman, no? I mean, we should go where the, no, where the youth are. And sila yung pinaka-vulnerable ngayon, eh. So, nandun sila sa TikTok. Yung yeah, some of us have to go there and then engage and then educate them. So, yun po. Again, uh, sa nagpapunti, sir, and of course, bounds of Philippines, uh, meron po kami mga advocacies for students. Ano? And we're going to roll it, uh, them out soon. Uh, kasi po talaga, sila yung papalit sa atin eh. And then, maganda nga po, we start early. Um, and nakita nyo naman, no, in previous episodes, ang laki po ng demand for data privacy and cybersecurity worldwide. Uh, isa po ito sa mga paraan siguro so we can build a practice. And maganda po ngayon, accepted na yung work from home. There may be instances na nasa Pilipinas ka, but you're working for a company in Europe, for example, in other countries. Potential. Pwede na po yan ngayon eh. It's, uh, it's globally accepted. Again, siyempre, depende sa negotiation skills. Actually, marami. Marami nang gumagawa yun ng work from home, lalo na yung ano, foreign contracts, yung outsource na trabaho dito. Uh, uh, say, for example, appointment secretary. Oh, napaka-specialized niyan. Uh, so may, may trabahong ganun and they earn, oops, ma-BIR tayo. <laughs> virtual EA. Ayan. Oh, oh may kailangan ganyan ng trabaho. Oh. Kayo siya ng company. Ngakin yeah. yung ano Ako nga, kaya ako ng virtual EA, di ko magawa. Attorney Kicks, samahan ka rin. Practice mo kayo. Ayan. Pwede yan, pwede yan, sir. Ayan, o, yung plastic natin. Sir Roger, saka si Sir Sol, isama natin. Gawa tayo ng ano, gawa mashup. Ayan, yan, o. Ang may comment kita kaya nga, again, ayan, si Attorney Sol, ayan, international resolution, style of bite dance, para sa that time, tama. Tama po yan, ako, just ko. Ah, Again, to, warning to parents, ano, if your kids are using TikTok, please check on them. Yes. Kasi po, hindi ko alam ko anong pinapost nila. Lalo na po yung, alam nyo na, ay, nako. <laughs> the, the, the way you can do that is you ensure that you have a bigger TikTok presence than your kids. <laughs> <laughs> if the parents go to TikTok, their kids will leave TikTok. 
Di ba? Yes, totoo yan. <laughs> ah, di sila yun. Hindi yung Instagram yung anak ko eh. Ako! <laughs> si Sir Sol, wag din daw siya i-dare. Ay, usap tayo. Ay, usap tayo. Sir, enterprise risk yan. <laughs> Ayan, wag daw i-dare si Sol. Dapat pero ano specific para sa DICT, di ba? Promoting, oh. uh, promoting info, ano cybersec infosec. Yan. Oh, definitely. Oh. Oh. Nakatiktok din sila sa cybersec. Oh. <laughs> Kahit yung ganun na yan. <laughs> yung kasama ko sa Yahoo dati, nasa bite dance siya ngayon. Siya yung nga yung head ng ano, enterprise niya. We can invite oh. them. To, ano, to again train brands on how to engage no kasi po uh, okay. alam niyo yung mga thunder sa mga Gen X eh, nasa Facebook <laughs> so, <laughs> but yun po yung uh, again the Gen Cs are not here they may be here on ano pero kasi din sa Facebook or sa nando sila sa ano sa TikTok <laughs> in other platforms so nando po sila TikTok Instagram, and Discord the, and all the others that's <laughs> Dati Snapchat eh, ganyan TikTok na eh. Oh. Oh. Alam nyo, speaking of elections, ano, and then TikTok nga, I won't be surprised kung may mga deep fakes dyan na lumabas, deep fake videos, di ba? Tapos yung post mo dun sa ano. May nga lang ba siyan? Ah, sigurado. Oh. Mother oh. Tech Scamping. Di ba? Kasi siya. pwede yung i-weaponize din eh. Hmm. I-weaponize mo. You, you, you create a caricature of uh, your opponent. Di ba? Hmm. Di ba? Hindi na nga, ang dami na nga libreng apps na ano, ang ganda ng pagkapatong ng muka eh. Di ba? Oo, oh, oh, oh. super dami na, ganda nga eh. Seamless <laughs> na. Pero yung mga ano na yun, di ba? Mga... Yung mga gagawing mga fake quotes from notorious historical characters tapos yeah, yeah. nang endorse ng political ano dito, di ba? Gagawin nila yan. <laughs> Interesting, no? So, itong 2022, digital okay. elections talaga. Digital social media will be the ano, main drivers for engagement. Ayun ako. Magkaroon oh. tayo ng special episode sa election, ha? And then nga, si Rita Abrea po, in case you don't know, oh, sa DTO yeah. of NAMPREL, the National Tama. Movement for Free Elections. Oh. Kailangan Kaya, i-lecture na yung uh, proseso ng pag-transmit ng mga election returns. Yeah. Um, Nagkahanap nga po pala ng volunteers for the code review, no? Uh, Lito, di ba? So, yes. Kung, yes. Oh, Calling all ano po, all uh, tech practitioners who are interested to do a code review po ng Comelec uh, election management system. Ongoing pa rin po. Hindi, lang, hindi lang election management system. It's the whole. The election management system is just uh, one Personal of the four major components. Yeah. Oh, Marami yeah. yan. Napakalaking bagay ng code reviewers mm. who would like to volunteer. Yeah. Ipo siguro ano, we can discuss kasi sa BP ano. Si uh, again, our our friends at ano, at PPCRB is also ano, you can also go through them, di ba? Sila Doc William. Yeah. And then si yeah. Ma'am Mai, nagandang gabi po. So, mga kaibigan natin yan from uh, PPCRB and of course sa uh, Novare, no? So, yun ang flagship technology company uh, ni Ma'am Mai. Oi. Ah, nandoon ba si Doc William? Si Doc yeah. William usually ang nagre-review eh, di ba? Ah, oh, ano si Doc William nga. Sabi ni Doc William is that uh, if you want to volunteer daw, you can go to PCRP to okay. endorse you. So, kaya yan. Gumamit okay. sila na ano, static code analyzer muna para mm. <laughs> konti na lang yan. Oo. Oh. Ito na update lang si ano, ayan, gagamit na ng PNP, ayan, the, ano, uh, for the teacher serving sa Board of Election Inspectors. So, thank you po for that update, ano. Uh, yeah, that's ano, they, they're working on that uh, presently and they were and they're working with DepEd para yeah. ma-register yung mga teachers sa uh, PNPKI. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Grabe, no? na- ako, na-feel niyo ba yung energy ng election? Ako na-feel ko na eh. Kasi may mga, may mga ads nang sinaserve sa akin eh. <laughs> 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 yung mga candidates. Sabi ko, uy. Hindi <laughs> yun din pa yung isang magiging issue dyan, no? Uh, mag-iiba yung campaigning, mag-iiba din yung vote buying. Digital mm-hmm. na. Mm-hmm. Ang pagsak nung ano, kung may digital wallet ka or e-wallet, doon na sa e-wallet mo. Abe, yung hindi hindi, hindi bot buying 'yon, volunteer allowance 'yon. Yo. Okay. Pag pag below 500 allowance, 49. Oh, 49. 
Volunteer well, allowance yan dito. Oh, okay lang po. Tumat- tumatanggap ka naman kami ng pagkain from Grab kahit hindi ka. <laughs> <laughs> diba? Pizza bundle, bundle for 10. Yan. Okay lang po yun. Oy, okay. So, almost uh, to the second hour. Uh, again, thank you very much, Abit, for giving that uh, great talk on Maybe data protection standards. No? So, si Sir Kaloy na ba yung guest natin next week? Confirm mo naman. Oo. Oh, oh. Ta- uh, tawagan mo uh, Sir Kaloy. Uh, oh. O baka ano, si uh, Sir Mike naman. Uh, yung ano, successor niya. Pwede rin. Diba? Pwintuhan lang Pwede. rin ito. O, oh, yun ang kaibahan natin sa ibang show. Eh. Dito talaga. Or Sam. Pwede, Sam, pwedeng dalawa sila. Sir Mike. Pwede rin. Actually, pwede sa bayan. Pwede rin. No? O, oh, tama-tama. O. Oh. Yan, Sir Mike, Sir Kaloy, kung libre kayo next week, kayo yung aming ano, uh, guest. Ah, so, puro na naman tayo para ako. Kailangan natin na. Uh, i-ready nyo na po yung dance number nyo kasi bago magsimula yun. <laughs> Sama na natin si Sir Roger sa si Sir Sol. Dun sa, ano. Padala nyo lang po yung format. Ah, so, patayo po ang orientation para pang TikTok. Tapos po, papadala namin sa inyo yung soundtrack. <laughs> sa iyon nyo. <laughs> Yung pong ating uh, how to file, di ba? How to file lang sa ano sa ano. Again, to, to my co-host, no? uh, among our, all of our talks and topics na discuss, ano yung one thing that really struck you the most? So, siguro unahin natin naman, Ace for Beauty, Don Vito. <laughs> Hiuli natin si Abe ito. Mm. <laughs> Dami. Dami. Pwede na ba? Tatlo. <laughs> Nene, tali, actually yung pa rin naman yung emphasis namin ni ano eh, ni Abet eh. You start with policy. Hmm. Di ba? You start with policy, de- determine determine the purpose of your uh, systems, you know, yung apps mo, yung network mo, ano ba yung saan mo ba gagamitin? And then you build your policy around that to meet yung purpose mo. Kasi nga yung uh, uh limitation yung, yung purpose limitation to begin with isa yan okay para zeroed in and then ano ba yung magiging functions there are in policies for example how do you handle data there are only four things no that you can do with data it's to create to create read update and delete diba Crunch. so ano ba yung paano mo i-manage yan so yun nga yung sinasabi na i-limit mo yung uh, access rights ng isang individual. So kung assign lang siya to collect data and create the record, dun lang siya. Di ba? He should not be authorized to update it. Kasi magkakaroon na ng conflict yan. So apat lang yung pwede mong gawin doon sa data and you build your policy around it. No? So yung, yung maliliit na ganyan. Ma, mara, now, iba rin yung uh, pwede maging access rights dun sa administrators naman. Ano yung pwede niyang pasukin? Again, you build your policy around that. So, yun yung mga uh, challenges sa organizations. Kasi nga, kumisan, sabi nyo, uy, isecure mo yung system, paano ko isi-secure? Bilay muna ako ng antivirus. Diba? Kung wala kang policy, bumili ka ng antivirus, is it the appropriate security solution? Again, it's putting the cart before the horse. So, yung pare, yun, yun lagi yung sinasabi namin, start with the policy definitions. And guided by, yun nga, yung sinasabi na, you know, may framework ka, tsaka may standards. Hmm. Di ba? Hmm. You, you don't have to reinvent the wheel, eh. <laughs> da- yep. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You just have to fit it with what your, ano, with, with what your business concern is. Correct, correct. No? Doon mo ite-tailor naman. Yan, thank you dito. Okay, Attorney Kicks. Bukod um, sa TikTok. Bukod sa TikTok. <laughs> Yun talaga yung highlight. <laughs> Nag-iisip na lang. Maglalagay tayo, Sam, maglalagay tayo ng poll. How many Uh-oh. would you... Uh, yeah. Hindi, <laughs> yeah, ang ano is... Ikul ko lang yung sinami ni, ano eh, ni Godfather na ano na it does start with policy. Kasi policy sets direction from the top. And then, if you have a clear idea of what you want to do, um, that sets, uh, that clears out so many problems later on. Yung lumalaki yung scope ng project, nag inflate yung budget, uh, then you get to do more things that you never wanted 
that project to go into when you start your processing in your system. And the, the more kasi na nag, nag-introduce ka ng complexity, nag-introduce ka ng threat vectors. So you really want to keep your project, if, if, that's, the, if that's the point of your project, keep it that simple. Uh, if you want to build in interoperability, then uh, you tackle that when you get there. Pero, you know, keep your focus and the project gets done. And then you can move on to the next project and then you, you can build it that way. Also, by focusing on policy first, so you get a high-level view of what the project is and should be, um, you, then you can get to put in your security by design and privacy by design. So, yun, yun ang nag-strike sa akin this week. Thank you, Tarnikis. Mabit, ano nag-strike sa'yo sa, ano, sa talk mo? Hindi, hindi. Yeah, Siyempre, yung, 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 hindi, hindi sa talk, ha? Yung, yung pinost namin sa, ano, sa PSR website, yun nga. Um, some, some may think it's really extreme na yung, ang isip po, nandun na kagad, nasa, nasa loob, nasa, na, na-attack ka na, no? It already happened. But if you really think about it, if, if you have that attitude, uh, magiging mas madali sa iyo, eh, no? Hindi, I mean, <laughs> I, I know it's kind of paranoid, maybe ultra pa- paranoid to some, but, but changing the mindset to that, would drive you to do more eh hindi hindi ka para naghihintay lang di ba naghihintay ako may mangyayari sige lagay akong firewall lagay ng ganun you really have to as sabi nga nila assume the breach position eh. uh, so so that you'll be ahead of the of the security curve so so i guess it's it's high time no yun nga no palagi kami pag presentation no walang kamatayan it's not if it's when and how severe so tama dapat palitan na yun ngayon eh. Dapat niya assume breach position. Mm-hmm. Uh, that that would, you know, augur augur well a lot in your posture, especially mm-hmm. information security. Mm-hmm. Yun lang. Oh, thank you. Oh, I I I I I'd like to add down. Ano, gusto ko talaga doon yung really how it will impact the culture, especially the culture of communication by having a common language that will be derived from the common framework. Kaya yeah, yun. Know? Isa ka lang on an emotional side. Ako talaga nagulat ako dun sa comments dun sa OLA. And uh, if we do not do our jobs well, for example, all of us, you know, uh, lives are at stake eh. Pagka po may privacy violation. Kita niyo naman po doon, may isang comment doon. Although not verified officially, you know, but I've heard of stories also of people who have been launching taking their lives because of the, yun nga, Napahiya sila eh. Pinadala yung, ano, yung information sa kanilang contacts list, for example. Nalaman sa kanilang office na meron silang utang na hindi nabayaran. Uh, to me, that's uh, yun nga eh. Yung inner role, you know, as uh, data protection advocates and uh, yung as DPOs, as CISOs, etc. Life share at stake. Lalo na po ngayon, sabi nga po kanina sa discussion namin, kumakapit talaga sa patalim na yung mga tao. And that's one of the easiest way for us to bridge, di ba, yung gap yung financial gap nyo ba na wala kang trabaho. Ito rin yun, no? short-term loan talaga. Kaya lang nga po, mukhang, again, um, kudos to the NPC you know, for focusing on this. But sana po, again, sinabi nga Tony Kiko, parang dapat sinama yung mga collectors, yung collector agents, di ba? Doon sa ecosystem. Has to be oh. an ecosystem. Hmm. Yung po mga po yun, ano yun, those are notable ano, corporations already. Sila talaga, they have the resources and they have the people who can implement, uh, you know, uh, of course, uh, these uh, policies and procedures to protect personal information. But, yung pong nasa peripheral nila, each of them have their own ecosystem. How will we address that? So, with that, po, again, uh, I'd like to thank our Wait, speaker. Ding, dagdag ko din lang, Sam. Go ahead, no? go ahead. Dito. Yung just na kaso nga ng mga o- OLA, hmm. yun nga yung issue ng ethics. Diba? Mm. Kaya nga nilalagyan natin ng ethics yung privacy. Ethics, ethics. Wala na. Bastusan na eh. <laughs> <laughs> and, eh yun yung nga eh. Yung challenge yan eh. So, correct, correct. unethical practices eh. Uh-huh. Diba? Can really cause severe damage to the individual or individuals. Mm-hmm. Kaya kailangan pag na, yung, yung DPO, kung may DPO man to mga lending apps na to, Dapat yung focus nga, yung ethics. Pustahan no? tayo, walang DPO. <laughs> oh, wala yan. Wala. wala yan. Wala. Kung meron paper, paper oh. DPO. Mm-hmm. Correct. 
So, ang wala sa Pilipinas, di ba? I mean, uh, again, pwede, pwede ka naman mag-set up dito nang wala ka sa Pilipinas. Eh. In fact, if I remember it, uh, when the cases, di ba, uh, exploded two years ago, uh, some of them come from other countries, di ba? So, itong mga loan applications na to. So, ay, before we see Mr. Stephen maging magandang gabi, sir. Ayan. Uh, thank you, though, for the great learning. So, thank you po for tuning in. No? So, Maraming salamat. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Attorney Kicks, meron ako realization. Okay. Di ba, di ba walang, walang mga DPOs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and kung kakasuhan mo yan, matagal, right? Mm -hmm. Pero kung meron ng administrative fines, you can really hurt them agad, di ba? Yes. Oh, that's ayaw. why game changer yung fine schedule na nila yan. Oh, nga. Oh, yung pilis nun eh. Kaya Automatic nga. finding na yan eh. Pak, pak, pak. Hindi na ano. Pag-iwanag ka sa presinto. Pag wala, then yun na. That's it. Kaya nga, you know. Okay. Yan. Mm -hmm. Ayan, tama ka po. Attorney Omar sana. Yes, yes sir. Oh, yan. May mga NPC advice. Tama po. Meron na yan. Yes, and yung nag-discussion last week. And then nagkaroon na statement, joint statement ngayon or press release. So. Pero si na attorney Mike, they are leading the way nandiyan sa cracking the whip na yeah. yan. So kudos to you. Um, yeah. Hope na they get more support. Na, alam niyo na yan. Uh, from all of government. Uh, so it, it should be an all of government approach. So okay na SEC is fighting it. That NBC is fighting it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but you know. Sana we get more support from PNP and NBI uh, not cracking the whip. Na, that's not the way we do things in this country. Hmm. Hmm. Nga pala, no? Speaking of PNP, I'd like to uh, nga lang, um, honor our colleague who recently passed, si, uh, again, um, Tita Jo Vidal. Um, we're praying for ano, a post. She has served uh, at PNP ITMS for several years. And as part of the advisory council, a few days ago po, uh, Sir Daisy, ano, si Pass. Uh, Tita Jo, you know you're in heaven now. Thank you for your prayer, uh, for, and we will continue to pray for you. So, yung mga on behalf of uh, yung our friends and colleagues at uh, IPMS, advisory council of the Philippine National Police, uh, in po. we honor you, uh, Tita Jo. Okay? So, yun. Uh, Abit din dito, di ba? Meron din nag-pass recent sa ACG, di ba? Si... Uh, Nasa advisory council ni Rene Fonsella. So, yun po talaga. Yun po, mm. yun po may, may na. pandemya pa rin po tayo. Reminder lang. Hindi <laughs> ko alam ba. Kikaw na po ako sa ano, <laughs> advisory council. Walang pati sa amin. Pwede. Pwede rin. <laughs> Pagka nag-open na ulit. Oh. So, yun po. Napakasipag po ng mga taga-ITMS. Uh, and Siyempre, ECG din sa PNP. So, maganda. Oh, may, may ilan na rin tinamaan sa ECG. Eh. Oo. Oh, Ingat po, yung, ang leader ng ITMS, uh, uh, Gerald Mayoni, maganda gabi po. sa po, Colonel Alba, uh, the leaders of the ITMS. Uy, meron lang tanong dito na pahabol. Kaya ba ba si Mar? Yan, good PM po. Paano yung administrative fines mag apply bago ko ng ENCs din ang pang-buy this budget? <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, um, Alam ko, nag-uusap siya with civil service. So, pag government agency, um, dapat uh, either gross misconduct or grave uh, grave misconduct or gross negligence ang magiging ano ang magiging penalty niyan. So, tanggal ka sa serbisyo, forfeited lahat ng uh, benefits and interest. Benefit. Okay. Masakit. Masakit yun. Mas masakit yun. Uh, masakit yun. Oh. Lahat ng, so, wala akong kaya lang civil servant na hindi natatakot dyan sa grave misconduct charge na yan. Uh, Correct. So, kaya yung reputation, di ba? In the good name, no? Uh, oh. The civil servant. Yun yung masakit. Uh. Pero okay lang. Left pocket, right pocket naman yan eh, kung may fine sa Tony Kicks. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi. Uh, may mamamawag ng servisyo kasi. So, better nga na grave misconduct. Hmm. Tanggal na hmm. sipa ka. Kahit, uh, you know, kahit secretary ka. Tanggal ka dyan. Okay. Uh. Yan, ako. Kailan kaya lalabas ang administrative fines na yan? Di ba? Matagal na natin hinihintay yan. So, okay, final words. Uh, fellow co-host, okay, huli natin si Speaker Abet. Uh, again, uh, dito, we'd like to uh, final words na to our, uh, to our uh, friends at Bounce Back Network. Of course, not pop and then please shirt. Hindi, kailangan talaga ano eh, maging 
ma-develop yung culture ng ano eh, infosec at saka data privacy. It should be ingrained sa bawat isa sa organization. No? From, from the very top all the way down to the bottom no? ng totem pole. Okay, nandiyan pati yung kailangan, pati yung mga security guards at saka yung mga janitors kailangan kasama dyan sa kultura ng information security and data privacy. But we're talking about, you know, uh, security na systems at saka uh, security ng personal information. But the real threat ngayon, physical threat sa atin is COVID is knocking at our doors kasi pamipamilya na yung naapektuhan. So let's keep safe, everybody. Keep a healthy life. Observe yung uh, hygiene, no? Tsaka yung yung social distancing. Ba- basic security hygiene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Nita. Yeah. Tony Kicks. Um. Yun. Uh, COVID is out there. It's real. Um. Please take the necessary precautions. Physical distancing, wear your mask. Be safe. If you have if you have access to the vaccine, please take it. Walang dahilan kung bakit hindi. And uh, be careful. Uh, be, be careful lang with ivermectin. Baka may mga post dyan, attorney kicks. Pero ano lang. Take the vaccine. Uh, don't be makulit. Okay, yun na. That's yeah. it for me. Thank you, Attorney Kicks. So, Nangihintay na yung Friday dip ni Attorney Kicks. <laughs> ain't, no, ain't no cow, man. <laughs> the horse the horse. <laughs> so, okay, to, and our speaker again, uh, Abit, thank you very much. Uh, final words, please, for our uh, you know, fans who uh, are tuned in right now. Wala na po, yun lang. Salamat again, Sam, for, for the yeah. opportunity. Uh, um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm just gonna echo what everybody's saying. It's hitting closer to home. Actually, parang sa feeling parang mas malala pa kayo kaysa nung nagsimula, eh, di ba? Um, a lot of we lose, we lost a lot of friends. It's very dear and near and close to us. A lot of people we know, immediate families are getting sick. Buti na lang vaccinated. So you know, vaccine is not a cure. It's not a shield. Uh, the objective is for at not, not not to be hospitalized or, or not to have severe symptoms. So sometimes it's frustrating. There's you know there's technology people na who, who believe in technology. Tapos anti vaxxer parang. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, please please lang. It's not it's not for you alone, but it's for the people around you. Yeah. Yan, thank you, Abet. Oi, may pahabol si attorney Omar na yan. <laughs> yung employee daw, bisang gabayan. <laughs> and si Dean says, and, uh, thank you po. Thank you din po, Dean says, for staying with us. Uh, baka nasa laon nyo na kayo, enjoying the sun and the surf tomorrow. So, happy weekend. Uh-huh. Uh, po, Kailangan tra- makamusta natin si Arnig kung natuto yung mga estudyante niya. Oh, may definitely may feedback. Oh, Abit, uh, Abit, may evil form sila para sa iyo, si-share nila. Okay. Kailangan magpa-quiz si Arnig tungkol doon sa oh. presentation ni Abit. Maka maganda to, it's for a capstone project no? or capstone projects of the students. Eh. Kaya, again, yung po mga nanonood na mga ComSci or, or or in your third or fourth years, sana po mag-pursue kayo ng, ano, ng research projects on data protection, cyber security, and even data privacy. Na sana po, dagdagan po natin yung body of knowledge sa Pilipinas. Okay, uh, and with that, on behalf, uh, again, uh, the Bounce Network, uh, again, NADPOP, PH Certain, of course, uh, Blue Boy Foundation, no? our uh, partners there. And of course, thank you, Viralco, for loaning to us, si Attorney Nico. Ano, ano to? Advocacy to ni Attorney Nico. Maraming salamat din, no? So, magalit na well, si... May liwanag ang buhay. <laughs> <laughs> so, see you again next week. We have a TikTok episode next week. <laughs> Seryoso. <laughs> Hintayin niyo po yan. So, the TikTok episode. <laughs> Uh, natin. Baka taga bite dan siya, no? So again, see you next week, everyone. Please be safe. And again, don't forget to pray. God bless everyone. Thank you. Okay. Happy weekend, everyone.